What's up, devil? <laughs> What's up, Bear Myers? How are you doing? I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. I haven't slept yet. Bear Myers N23. Uh, no, I'm. Hello. Hi. Is that alright? Nice. Got a first try. I'm happy. <laughs> I've actually been awake since that uh since that GDQ run. I haven't gone to sleep yet. You know, Devil? I was I was my hands were shaking the whole time. Yo, cool, you watch me at GDQ? They won't invite you back. Nope, I'm I'm done. They won't invite me back. <laughs> How are you guys doing? It's, uh... What day is it? I don't even know what day it is anymore. Wednesday. Wednesday. Glad to see you guys. Hope you're having a good Wednesday. Also, cool. If you like that, get ready, because there's more ape today. It's like, shit, it's 3M, so for an hour to catch <laughs> I, uh... After that run... I had to stay awake because I had to go to work at 3 a.m. So I went to work, came home, ate, and now I'm streaming again. Then I finally get to sleep after today's stream. <laughs> oh boy! So I'm I'm a little uh, I'm a little all over the place tonight, but we should be fine. The coffee's gonna get me going. Yeah, one second. I gotta restart the game anyway. We gotta put on fast this speed. Hopefully we'll have a better run. I know a lot of people... Yeah, in three or four days we got another marathon. No sleep, no sleep at all. I gotta get my other memory card. What's up, Lazy? Oh, shit. Gotta have the console open. Yeah, uh, then we got the other marathon. The PSM marathon. The PlayStation marathon coming up that will be fun i'm glad that went so well because like i had a really shit run and it's funny because i'm i think i'm the only person that no <laughs> the generic monkey emote i love it i think i'm the only person who knows that run was shit <laughs> yeah, i was i was after the run i was just like man i fucked up so much shit <laughs> But, you know, no one, no one notices when I'm doing it. I'm surprised I was only, I was like on 50 on the dot. You know, give or take 14 seconds. That was kind of crazy. I didn't realize it would be like that. Yo, when you saw Dexter's, did you, did you notice that because I messed up the start of Dexter's, I immediately was like, yeah, I'm not doing the hard Dexter skip. We're just going to do the easy one. <laughs> Just get out of Dexter as safe as we can. <laughs> Devil, I lost all confidence in myself when... Did you see... I don't know if you saw my, uh... My Dark Ruins, but I did a ledge grab on the really easy neutral double jump. Um, and after that, I just walked up the stairs on the second one. <laughs> I was like, I'm not. Nope. <laughs> nope. Not doing the other one. There's a lot of points where I, like, mess something up, and my mind immediately went to, well, you know, I'll just do the next part pretty safe. <laughs> oh, my dead zone. That was good. But my dead zone messed up. That's fun. 
It's alright, the more Ape in today, we'll have a good time, you know, I'll just bust out better runs. My heart was pounding, like, the whole time. Gave you a 32, I was really... We actually got a pretty decent Spectre, but what happened is the main reason we lost so much time was the UFO boss. Like, no joke, it, like, we would have been fine if the UFO boss didn't give me literally the worst RNG he could have gave me. Like, we got an extra cycle we had to deal with, and he gave me two UFOs on that cycle. That was like... I was like, oh my god. <laughs> of course. The GDQ run, you're gonna give me this RNG. <laughs> but that's alright. We got through it. Even if I wasn't the last run of the night, I don't think they would have cared about 14 seconds. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> so, we're fine. I can say I should I should mention everyone who uh, I was who I had to talk to or interact with uh, on the GDQ team for that run were all extremely nice and wonderful people. Like no joke, they were the nicest people I ever met. Very cool. And they made it. No, I made it pretty obvious. So I was like, "Look, guys, this is my first time doing this," and they were they walked me through it. Like I, you know, because I didn't know what I was doing, and it all worked out fine. I'm pretty happy. Uh, so yeah, it went it went well. I'm really surprised. You know. Everyone's telling me it went well, so it must have, right? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm gonna play Ape as long as I can today, but if I hit that point where my body's like... I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Going for 10 plus years now, stack team just do this and no sleep. Well, I meant like... It, you know, it's less that, and it wasn't like they were trying to rush me through the process, right? You're playing this on PS2? I am. Specifically, I'm playing on a 90k PS2, because that would be the fastest, and the game is set with fastest speed, which gives us better load times. When you play a PS1 game on a PS2, you can set the option to fastest speed, and it loads faster. Oh. Ho oh, ho, he beamed me with that rock. <laughs> What's up, Von Jim? Man, you act like you weren't at a marathon playing this game. <laughs> How you doing, bud? Watching, I was like, shit, is he going to shout out Ape? I mean, I did shout out the whole community. I did specifically name you, though, Devil. Don't forget that. Also, I'm probably going to reset runs that are pretty, uh, pretty meh today, now that I really don't have to, uh, practice the whole game right now. Game's on PSN, right? You can indeed play the PS4 and PS5 version. It's very good. They're very, they're very similar to, uh, the game. They'll work just fine. You can even technically speedrun on that one. Closest I've came to GDQ, Lamau. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta put in one of the Atomic Games to Silly Games block. They call it now. I'm sure they'll... They, they might let it in. Yeah, Ape 2 has issues on PS5. You can also play On The Loose, which is the PSP port. They also put that on PSN quite recently, in fact. I, you know, I'm not going to suggest you play that version, but there is that version, too. Yeah, or Ape Academy, too. You know, there's a lot of Ape games actually available on PSN. Not all of them, though, but there's quite a lot. Yes! And they're all super fun. 
very specific reason why you're playing this on PS2. It's the fastest version. The PlayStation 4 and 5 version don't emulate fastest speed like the PS2 does. They actually have the same load times you'd expect on a PS1. Fast disk speed is just this very specific thing the PS2 does for PS1 games that no other, they, they've never re... They, they do, for some reason, when they do the PSN versions of like PS1 games, they don't apply this whole fast disk speed thing to them. So, probably because they're emulating what it was exactly like on a PS1, I'd imagine. Since they are just emulating it using PS4 or 5 hardware. So. Check out why he plays JP. <laughs> yeah, I don't play JP. <laughs> I'm going for it. I don't want to hear Spike say Yata. I want to hear him say yes. You know? If I was doing all monkeys, I would probably have gotten a JP copy of the game. But, you know, we don't do all monkeys here. Not yet, anyway. We'll get to it eventually. One day I'll conquer Windy. Yes. <laughs> I'll run the game and have Pal and JP. It's funny. Yeah, there's no difference between the the only difference between like English the the NTSC version and JP is that the Japanese credits are faster, which is only only matters for all monkeys. Or any category that requires you to see the credits. All monkeys, 100%. You know, that uh, that run was like super late for me. I, I wonder if that probably did not help my, uh, my demeanor. <laughs> I feel like I was like being really stiff. <laughs> I don't know. You, you know what it is? is I'll I'll uh, I'll beat myself up for it, and like for no reason because it was fine. But I'll like look at it if I go and watch the run. I'll be like, oh, look how much of a mess I. <laughs> Had a blast, fast watching play. Yes. You know, I'm really glad you enjoyed it. I, spreading the love of Ape is something I, I, it, I'm very happy to be able to do. This was a game I played as a kid, and it, I'm still using the same disc I used from when I was a child. That's what's funny. I never like rebought the game. I've always kept the game. This disc is scratched to hell and back <laughs> for like the 20 years it's been this console. The ape has always meant a lot to me. You know, like sometimes people have like their comfort game, like they'll go back to, like uh, I don't know, like you'll go back and play a game from your childhood or something. Like you'll do it every now and then. That's always been ape for me. Before I speed ran this game, I actually used to just hundred percent it every year. I like find a day where I'd just sit down and chill and have some me time with Ape Escape. I'm glad I've branched out and played almost every game in the series now, though. There's a lot of really good ones. Harvest Moon? Yo, Harvest Moon was a good game. Let's go! That's one of those games that, because it has, like, no, no stress, it was, like, so nice. I've got a couple of no stress games. Uh, recently, I uh, downloaded the game called Dave the Diver. That came out. Um, that is the most relaxing game I've ever played in my life. <laughs> Don't know how to explain it. Like I'll, I'm just swimming around in the ocean, man. Dual shot game used to analog very well. You know, I, I was reading stuff about, um, oh my god, about Ape Escape for the, uh, for the Thing Devil, um, 
Gabe Escape is the only P is the first PS game to PS1 game to require it though, but apparently the DualShock was out two years before Gabe Escape came out. I don't know if that was just in Japan. But there were other games that apparently utilized it before Ape Escape. Ape Escape was just the one that this game will literally not load unless you have a dual shot plugged in. I don't know if there's another PS1 game that's done that since then. I'm pretty sure there isn't. I need to root the fun. I mean, you're right. Gotta be truthful, man. Apparently, you know, released in '97. Yes. F's indeed. All in RE2. Darn. Are you doing the step challenge still? Well, on hardcore, oof, rough. Hardcore is the one that like limits your saving, right? Or does not let you save at all. I've never done hardcore in RE2. Yeah, so at GDQ, my Dark Ruins was a travesty, and I hope I never Let's see a Dark go. Ruins that bad again. Because <laughs> I was like... I was a little livid, but I'm... You know what I'm glad about, man? No healing, step in one run last night, jeez. I, I'm really glad I just, like, have no problem, like, doing backups. Because <laughs> I don't know how I missed pushing the box. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, I'll just kill myself, it's fine, let's just reset that. <laughs> that was the dumbest thing I could have done. That's how you know I was a little flustered during the run. I, I also didn't want to say that's never happened to me. Is that the guy that Ape Escape games going quick? It sure was, Pampix. Pampix, I saw you in the chat. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, man. I saw you guys in the chat, but I was like too like shaking to fucking <laughs> to, to answer or <laughs> react. I was just talking about the ape run. How did I miss pushing this box? Like, it just, just, you just do that. <laughs> I know I forgot to shout out Mogan. Uh, you know, I was kind of nervous as hell doing that. Yeah, you know what it is? It really isn't, but I think I do it to myself more than anything. I've always kind of been like that a little bit. I, I put a lot of... GDQ for A2. You can do it, devil. Get that sub-50. Get that sub-hour. I'm sorry. Don't get the sub-50. That would be really hard. I mean, you could. Chris Giff back in 2000, I think. I think it won't be easy. Um, normally stuff like that doesn't- if it powers on, it probably is just a disk drive issue. Um, if it's a disk drive issue on something that old, I don't know if, uh, you can really get it fixed easily. Or not, that wouldn't be super costly. I still have my PS1, but it definitely doesn't work at all. It just got too old to that point. I don't- the PS1 wasn't really built to last, like, let's say the PS2 was. Yo, Little Nightmares 3 got announced? What? That's awesome. Did they get a release date for it? Replace the disk drive? They probably could. Right? I, you know, I'm, I don't even feel bad I missed Ill Catch. <laughs> Ill Catch is hard. I was too far left when I was falling. Now it's gone, rip. Yeah, I still got my PS1. I've actually got two PlayStation not powering up. Yeah, there's probably something else wrong with them. That could be any issue. Like, I wouldn't know. It 
has co online co op? Oh, that sounds awesome. Yeah, I still haven't played the Little Nightmares uh, games, but we're gonna we're gonna try out at least the first one in October and see how I feel about it. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like them, but we'll, we'll see. Since we're gonna do a bunch of spooky games for October, you know what scared me when I looked up the prices of some of the games I wanted to play? <laughs> I want you to guess a price of how much Michigan Report from Hell cost. I'm going for it. Need to get a 90k and a 77k. I got a really good 90k. I was happy about, it, and I've got 30k. 80 dollars? Nah. Higher. Also, I can just tell you if you don't want to guess. <laughs> I'm going for it. it was no, not 200. It's 650 dollars, um, not including shipping. 650 for that PS2 game. That's what I said. Unless I want the Japanese version. In which case, the Japanese version's tr like twenty dollars. <laughs> Let's go. Go figure. So uh, I'm playing that, but I'm not buying it. But then I wanted Echo Knight, right? Do you guys even know what Echo Knight is? Echo Knight's a PS1 game that was made in between Kingsfield 2 and 3 by uh, by FromSoft, right? Because they made a horror game in between. And it was used to for as like an experimental way for them to test the graphics they were going to use in Kingsfield 3. So of course that game is $120 because it has From Software's name tied to it. And it's a PS1 horror game no one's played. <laughs> yes. So I already got scared and it's not even October yet. So I'll probably be buying, like, Signalis, Little Nightmares, uh, what's the other one? I haven't looked up the price of the thing. I don't imagine the thing is that expensive, since that's a known commodity. When you look up those, those like, esoteric, like, PlayStation games no one's heard of, that's when they really, like, super jack up the price on them. Personally, I'd love to get a copy of Eternal right now. Nightmare Creatures on PS1. I have not played Nightmare Creatures. I've been recommended it before. Not played it. Okay, I love... Prize is right? I've been recommended a lot of horror games, and whenever I, I love horror games, and I've been recommended a lot, and I keep them in like a little list, and I normally reserve till October where I play a bunch of them. You also noticed my sub? I, it didn't pop up that you subbed. Did something happen, Devil? Oh, uh, well, when you, um, had to quickly resub, well, Devil, I will say, you know, thanks for the sub, but, uh, when you, uh, I don't have, I didn't have alerts to look at while I was doing it, so there's no way I would have noticed <laughs> Because uh, my 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 feed got bombarded with a bunch of people following me off of the GDQ thing, so everything just got thrown downward. No, thanks for the sub, Devil. Actually, we can. Oh wait, 
By the way, this is me doing the dangerous one I didn't want to do. Oh, look, this is me missing the dangerous one. Where is that? Where is that? I got you, devil. I got you. I got you. Don't worry. Where is it in here? It's in here somewhere. Boom. What? I can't believe it! Yo, devil, thanks for the four months, man. Awesome. <laughs> oh, I forgot to remove the music from that sub alert. Fuck. I made, um... I clipped more of Natalie's lines for sub alerts. So we just had, like, a plethora of them instead of the just you did great. I just left the music in that one on accident. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I got those horror games. We got, um... Apparently there's these people that make, like, haunted PS1 games... ...kind of thing, and those look pretty interesting, so I want to see what that's about. I got sent that by my boy Schmuckle, who's like a really cool guy. I'm hunt for that skip for whatever level it is. I mean, I, I, you know, I had enough people there. I was like, I'm just gonna say it, and no one, no one's gonna look for it. And if they do, they're never gonna find it. Because if if, 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 if no name can't find it. It's not gonna get found, but uh, you know, let me just ask. <laughs> yeah, it was an itchy. Uh, it was an itchy-o thing. And those look kind of fun, so I was gonna probably check those out. Say I won't find something, you won't double. Look, man, I spent I don't know, like hours upon hours trying to find a way into that door. It would be funny if you could get in there. Oh, I'm sorry, you're the Ape 2 sub guy. My mistake. You're the haunted Ape Escape. Every copy of Ape Escape, every speedrun of Ape Escape is personalized. Do you exclusively stream Ape Escape speedruns? No, I do not, Obo. I actually only speedrun Ape Escape like four times a week. And then Friday I do my uh, my game day where people in chat have given me a list of games I've been playing. And then uh, I kind of do whatever I feel like on the weekend. Let's go! I can't, uh, I cannot speedrun every day. It kind of eats away at me. Tip and whatever. <laughs> You'll find ghosting in Ape 1, and then Mario will be going crazy. If you knuckle sandwich, if you don't run Ape 3, well, luckily for you, I run Ape 3. <laughs> I don't have a time on the board because I never submitted my time and the VOD's gone, but I got like a 112 in Ape 3. Escape dating sim. Ape 3 right now? I'm not swapping games. We're playing Ape 1 today. <laughs> if you're lucky, maybe in like five hours I might play Ape 3. Not right now. That's because we're having really bad openings. Don't have a control. We got one working control. You guys don't understand, alright? When I originally was running Ape 3, my controller broke. The L3 button broke on my controller, alright? And you cannot speedrun Ape 3 with a broken L3 bud. It's required to do the, uh, uh, the hip drop storage to gain height, right? So that broke. So then I ordered a controller that took like three weeks to get here. It came broken. I tested it on stream, and it was funny. It was like if I rotated the right stick, it would press like the square button. <laughs> Then I got another controller that got sent to me. Yeah, Mogan time, if I can stop messing up. You know, we'll go catch Mogan, but I'm restarting, because I'm, like, all over the place this morning. I think it's because I'm exhausted, but we're going to keep trying. 
Bogan for the fans. Yes. <laughs> um. Uh, in fact, I have every controller. First, let me show you this controller that got sent to me. All right, so. This is my bootleg controller. I think you can see how bootleg it is by the buttons. Look at that, I got this for $5. It doesn't work. I've actually been using this for parts for other controllers. We got our nice red controller. Doesn't this look nice? This looks official, right? It's got the stuff on top. It's got, it's got the sticker on the back. This is a bootleg. This is a fake controller that was sold as a real controller. Because I opened this up, and it doesn't have an original board inside. I don't know why they tried to fake this controller, but this one doesn't work either. Go figure. It even came in a fake PlayStation box. Love that. Then I got this controller. This is a real PS3 controller, but this was sold as if it was new, and this controller is a refurbished controller. Um, because when you rotate the sticks... It presses the buttons, which tells me at some point in its lifetime, it got soda spilled inside it and they cleaned it incorrectly. Meaning the there's a little like plastic board in here that the buttons actually press. That got fucked up. So those three controllers don't work. This controller does work. So I have one working controller out of the four. <laughs> now... I got all my money back on those, so now I just have a table full of parts for my controllers to fix. <laughs> in case they break, which is wonderful. <laughs> Bro got the right angle, but I'm not gonna lie, the uh, the fake buttons on the Boole controller are like a work of art. And I want to like replace my PS3 controller with the fake buttons, because they're beautiful. Like, you, pro you probably didn't notice, but look at the X button. You'll see that it's, uh, not even. One of the lines is longer than the Spike, other one. Can you hear me? You must <laughs> it's kind of a work of art. <laughs> I love it. That's what happens when you buy a controller off eBay for $5. Better opening at least. Go up. Go back down. I didn't jump. Yes. All right, I'm gonna do this run and not reset. No matter what time we get. This is I need to do like a full run and stop messing around. I actually really like Ape 3. Ape 3 is the other ape game I was going to speedrun. Like, seriously. But I didn't want to do that until I was done with Ape 1. I can really only do one at a time if I'm doing it, like, seriously, seriously. Love 1 and 3. I love 1 and 3 as well. I like, I like Ape 2, but... A2 sandwiched in between two really good games. Though, I hear, a, I, you know, sometimes I feel like, uh... Oh, uh, nothing, Devil. I played, I played the shit out of Ape 2. Ape 2, so, what's funny is, like, Ape 2 All Monkeys is probably a better All Monkeys speedrun than both 1 and 3. Like, actually. Like, Ape 2 All Monkeys is legit fun. Let's go! And it, it really highlights how good the level design is in Ape 2 compared to Ape 1 and 3. It's got a, it's just got a lot of other little things that makes it a little like I don't I don't enjoy it as much. I enjoy Ape 1 for my nostalgia. And because it's really tight in the speedrun. And Ape 3 is just a very good game. I did own Ape 2 growing up. I don't know if it was the fact that Jimmy is Ash Ketchum, or I just I just always found him annoying. <laughs> Boop. 
Also, I should mention, like, normally people don't talk about it, but, uh, I think I fixed my ads so that you guys won't get bombarded by them constantly, because I got tired of that shit. Million monkeys? Really? What? Wait, what's Million Monkeys Racing? That's two different games. <laughs> million Monkeys or Piposaur Racing? I can sound cooler. <laughs> Yo, what's wrong with Piposaur Racer? I love Piposaur Racer. That's that's a really fun racing game. It's just uh, very cheap. Do you know how to spell it? Pipo Saru. Okay, that's why we just call 2001-2001 instead of Piposaru 2001. It's just Piposaru. Well, not 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 Piposaur like a dinosaur. We're not we're not dealing with prehistoric dinosaur monkeys. Wow, that's something they never did. They that would have been cool. You get like you get like a big ape. You gotta catch. I mean, I mean they kind of have like big monkeys in Ape Three, but they're not the same. Like, in, in Million Monkeys, they got Pipotron G, who's this big gorilla, but you don't really catch them in that game. Yeah, get you! It's just, it's just get you. G-E-T-C-H-U. Get you! <laughs> Let's go! I can't kill him. The Hornet, the Hornet swapped me up in GDQ run. <laughs> like, I got utterly destroyed in this stage. Which is understandable, I mean, the bees suck. What are you doing? He got stuck on Spike. Oh. Eh. I've been having a rough time with UFOs. I'm waiting for Scion to come in and scoff at me for using the left wall. So you know what's funny, like, I, I know I explained this when I was like, uh, leading up to me doing that run, but there is just so much to talk about with Ape Escape. <laughs> I think I was having issues where my brain was trying to, like, have me say two things at once a lot of times, and I had to, like, decide which one was coming out. <laughs> it's, it's just non-stop stuff going on. Man timed out for going on a tangent about GDQ was soft or something and everyone just ignored them. Yeah, that happens every single day in the GDQ chat. That's pretty on the norm. I mean, when you got a chat that's like several thousand people, you'll always get those people. Nah, they're just probably go! going off the fact that, uh... Yeah, it was fun the early days. A lot of people don't like the direction GDQ take in being a bit more, uh... PC, right, in their take on things. Uh, they're like, I want to go back to the old days where it was just like 10 guys in a room running a game. You know, I mean, there's people who have that feelings about that, about GDQ. They don't like that they push certain people or do certain things, and that's, you know, it's just... That's how they feel about it. I haven't ever been involved in GDQ until yesterday, so I don't really have any opinions. 
I used to watch it a little bit, but never, like, vehemently. For me, I'd always, like, just... I'd never watch GDQ Live. Uh, I would just, like, go to their YouTube every now and then and be like, Ooh, that's a run I like. I'm gonna go watch that run and see how it went. My wife made this game GDQ, so you watched Hornlet's run, right? And, um, what was the 2017 run? I don't remember who ran it in 2017. I know Hornlet's ran it in 2019, I think. I think. Hornlet's is a phenomenal Ape Escape player, by the way. Extremely knowledgeable, too. It's funny, I feel like a, a small fish surrounded by a lot of big fish when it comes to, like, being good at Ape Escape. I don't know why. I think I have a lot of self-doubt I need to conquer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Enob? Was it Enob in 2017? It probably was. I wouldn't be surprised. It was? Alright. Those are the only- well, if you're just talking about Ape 1, those are the only two runs I remember, unless there was one even further back that I don't remember. Ape 2's been on GDQ before. Uh, Squid ran it, right? Squid ran at GDQ. Ape 2. You watched both? Nice. Well, I was uh, suggested by them to actually submit Ape to a GDQ this year, so I'll probably do that. Just because, why not? I'm going for it. Work on my, uh, <laughs> work on not beating myself up in the middle of the run. Smith on the loose? Fuck off. On the loose is such a... Oh, Ion ran it? Okay. On the loose is such a volatile speedrun. Like, I could be, like, spending minutes on a trick. If I saw Racer win... Pippa, I, I wouldn't submit Pippa Star Racer because it would be boring. There's no tech. It's just me driving fast. <laughs> Not getting hit by walls. The thing about On the Loose is the way the tech works in On the Loose. Um, you can just lose minutes to not getting it first try. There's like frame perfect tech on leaving levels. There's a trick in On the Loose where on the last monkey you catch, if you pause and quit the game on the frame, it loads up the this cutscene. If I did it like right before that like zoom in happened, if I paused and quit on On the Loose, you could actually... It will count as level complete, you'll unlock the next level, and you won't return to the hub. You'll actually go to the stage select instead. Uh, time stop in On the Loose is pretty tough to do. It, I love On the Loose as a speedrun, I hate it as a casual game, because it has so so much interesting stuff that doesn't happen in Ape Escape 1. <laughs> like, we catch Windy because we can freeze him in time. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Can't do that in Ape 1, do it On the Loose. On the Loose, you can swim in the air with the water net, and you use it to skip the entirety of Crumbling Castle. Because you can't IJ in that game, so you can't do the out of bounds we do in Ape 1, so we have a different way of doing it. It has a skip to skip the final stage, but it requires four frame per- not frame perfect, but pixel perfect jumps on scenes to actually enter the door. And, uh, Bobby's only been able to do it with a- with a task, pretty much, with a- with save states. It's never been done, RTA. Let's go! Like, it, it's, it, On the Loose is such an interesting, like, minefield of cool things that happen. <laughs> oh, wait, I got, I'm glad we got the double catch here, because that almost never happens. Yo, thanks for the follow, Mega Milk Slip. It is, by the way. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, man. 
kill catch. Break the sandcastles for the achievement? Wrong game, bud. <laughs> Wrong game. God, I <laughs> Yo, I missed this series. I know a lot of people that feel the way about Apex Escape, man. <laughs> Why would I even do it in a speed run? About <laughs> the loose unless I was doing like all trophies, which Why would I do all trophies in the face? Uh yeah guys, this is the this is the end of the run. Time will be on when I enter the final mini game. Uh it's kind of a wet fart ending to the game, but hey that's what happens when you do an all trophies run. For A4, you know, don't wish on that monkey's ball. Pun intended. Yes. To be fair, we have what we equate to in A4 with uh, Saru Getsu, Saru Saru, Daisaku Zen. Uh, the PSP only. One of the Japanese PSP only Ape Escape games, but. That's about as close as we got. The last Ape game we got was on the move. Not giving up on Ape 4. I wish I had your optimism. <laughs> I don't want to be like that. It's been six years since we got an Ape game. And I fear that the only reason you're getting the Ape Escape series on the PSN store is because Sony sees Nintendo putting classics on theirs. And they're like, well, we got Ape in the vault. Let's just put Ape. On our classics. PlayStation Move game good? I have not played that one, I couldn't tell you. That's one of, I've only not, there's only two Ape Escape games I haven't played, and that's one of the ones I haven't played. It was in 2010. Oh, I didn't, I don't know when it was released. That was the last one though. I don't know why I thought 2017, I forgot it's for PS3. The only thing I know about... That's twice I did that wrong, man. That sucks. Uh, I'm gonna do the run, though. It's last on the wiki. It is the last Ape Escape game. I think the next... If we got another Ape Escape game, to be honest, I'm... I'm almost certain that it would be a... a gotcha game on your phone that you would collect monkeys. B-Man has edited the wiki to be correct, and they're like, no, that's wrong. It changed it back. What the fuck? If they don't know the info, why are they... Why are they... Why are they changing the wiki to be correct? I'm gonna complete the run, because I have to practice the facts I have on the stages anyway. That's twice I messed that up, though. I have to get decent at this way of doing the out-of-bounds, though, because it's very fast. And we're at that point where I need to learn it. I was doing it fine leading up to... Yeah, that's what you have to do. You gotta get that little wall push. Very important you get that. If you don't, it doesn't work. Go through this wall, just ignore that. I love a more. Wow, grapple the cookie dispenser there. That's fun. Start the wiki. Uh, is it the fandom wiki you're talking about, Devil? Or like the actual Wikipedia page for it? The one frame shot! Man! That's what missing Dexter yes. skipped, by the way, adds to the timer. The fandom one? That guy has been in the speedrunning Discord before. He's asked us questions about the game. I remember he was in the speedrunning Discord specifically because he wanted to know the names of all the monkeys for the fandom website. I don't remember who it was.
Let's go! Yeah, I don't really know anything about on the move because I haven't gotten to it yet. I have to play that game and I have to play the iToy game still. Those are the only two Ape games I have played. Uh, the main reason is because they need um, extra peripheral and I have to be able to afford the peripheral before I can obviously play the game. <laughs> How much uh, time to speedrun the trilogy? Well, I did a trilogy speedrun where we did um, all monkeys, Ape 1, 2, and 3, and it took me about six and a half hours to do all monkeys, Ape 1, 2, and 3, back to back to back. I actually raced that with uh, Scion for my anniversary of being an affiliate. Do you have an iToy? I don't have an iToy. That's what I mean. I need to buy an iToy, and an iToy right now is like $80. Something around that, some around that area, I think. Last time I checked, it was. I don't know if it still is, but I checked like months ago. Good luck, yo. Thanks, bud. I'm really trying to pronounce the name. Uh. Ale. Let's go. Alekine. I'm sorry, I can't. Pronouncing people's names is the hardest thing in my... <laughs> it's the hardest thing for me to do. <laughs> Alec? Yeah, I can do Alec. Or at least North America, it was. Like a 120? Yo, that's a that's a that's a complete run though, man. What are you doing psychotic beam? I've seen your time on the board. Complete run's a complete run, my guy. Someone to be proud of. Yeah, if you're just doing the base trilogy any percent, it's probably like around three-ish hours. Well, is that the world record for the trifecta? Like, if I combined all my games, it's like, it would be something around there. Let's do the run, no resetting. No, I feel that, man. I, I, it's so hard for me to not reset. I just need to throw up a complete run right now, because I need to practice. Yeah, about three hours, you could say. Ape 3 is the longest. Ape 1 you can kind of complete in under an hour. Ape 2 you can complete under an hour. Ape 3 is an hour plus, so 3 hours is a good estimate. Never chain hoop to sling, so it's a little different. Yeah, but there's still strats that work with that. Um, there's a couple spots. I don't know if you actually use the flyer, but there's a couple spots where you can just use the flyer instead. That worked pretty well. It's, uh, it's tough. I know a lot of people who try to learn the game and they can't... They can't do the combo. Yo, nice missing the bird. I knew the bird was there, I heard him. There's little flaps. Wabi Sabi wall that I hate? Yeah, that's the one. Wabi Sabi wall is the tough one. I always say for people who are, like, not necessarily, uh, they don't feel like they're that, that great to make sure that they probably use the flyer. Wabi Sabi. It'll, it'll, it'll save your life. Oh my god. Won't save your life against this guy. They took this guy's gun away so he can enter the hot spring. He's still brought up too. Man's packing heat. Yes. Yeah, there's a bunch of like flyer strats you can do in Wabi Sabi that are pretty safe, pretty pretty uh, beginner friendly. C 
seems familiar. <laughs> I don't remember go. that monkey's name. Yeah, you do fly there? Okay, well that's good. It's a good way to kind of feel out the level before you uh try to go harder. I remember I mentioned it, but I was like, yo, my biggest pop-off ever was when I didn't game over in Wabi Sabi for a run, and I was just like, oh shit, this is the run we didn't game over. <laughs> that was when I was going for like sub hour. Let's go! Oh, you do that in Crumbling Castle? That's funny. I don't even do that in Crumbling Castle. Dribble. I kind of use a different gadget setup than, um, like, the World Record Run, or uh, I think, uh, I think No Name does that, too. Because I do, uh, I, I just have one, I just do one less menu with a different gadget setup. That's how I prefer doing it. Yes. I, I run the hallway <laughs> instead of doing the uh, the out of bounds with the flyer. No, you can't hoop jump. Uh. Okay, I'm I, I'm specifically when you mentioned the flyer, I'm thinking about the out of bounds you do to leave the underground. By using the flyer to fly under the uh, the uh, the loading zone and activate it. Let's go. Yeah, I I've never practiced that or learned that. That's the trick I don't do in the run because I've never learned how to do it. And I know for a fact I don't need to learn it. Oh my god, the camera! <laughs> camera and wabi sabi is the worst. So I've just never learned that. I actually just run the hallway. Oh, you use it to get to the button room. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. I can't believe we got a double gong room in my... Run. Yeah, we had a lot of good luck and a lot of awful luck in one run, and that was kind of... Crazy scene of damn with both of them. Yeah? Yeah, where you going? Get back here. That's a run last night. Yo, thanks, Conwolf. Are we having a wonderful day, man? Honestly, thank you. I was uh, I was on pins and needles that whole run. <laughs> I've never done a like live event to that many people, so I was just like <laughs> the whole run. Right, I even messed this up, which is like the coolest thing to do correctly, because you just land right on the platform. Still good? Oh yeah, no, I'm not really worried about my time. My time was exactly what I thought it was going to be. Which is great. <laughs> like, for, for as many mistakes as I made, I was really glad that we made it on as good. Slingshot strat. Oh, do you mean just the, yes. the infinite jumping? Yeah, it's tough to learn, but once you once you get it down, it's pretty pretty nice. Like I, I try to explain it the best I can. Yeah, it, it's just like natural to me at this point. <laughs> Yeah, look, Psychotic Bean, I'll show you what I'd do. Let's go. Oh, are my sound alerts broken? Oh, there it is. What's, What's wrong, wrong with you? you? Do you, you really realize what you're saying? saying? Do you, you know, know who you're, you're talking, talking to? to? Snap, Snap out, out of it. it. Pull yourself together. together. <laughs> Can you hear me? It's no use. That's my favorite line in the game. <laughs> Always will be. Yeah, uh, Bean, I actually, there's a thing here you can get on top of right here. You see this right here? There's actually a box up here. And you can just, you can just jump off of the box. And if you're holding forward and don't do what I just did, you'll actually land in the zone. Siphon Filter finally a slot, so hope it opens up more run coverage. Yo, that Siphon Filter run was awesome. 
Like, no joke, I've never played Siphon Filter, right? I'm going for it. Um, this bites. It does bite. <laughs> uh, yeah, feeling around the out of bounds is pretty nice to learn where all the spots are. I've never played Siphon Filter, but I've actually always owned the game. It's always been, like, in my collection of games, and seeing that run, I was kind of shocked at how ahead of its time Siphon Filter is for a PS1 game. I was a little thrown back. <laughs> yeah, you can just you can just double jump here. And you'll land in the zone. Oh, absolutely. So seeing that run, I was like, man, maybe I gotta load up Siphon Filter and give this game a try. <laughs> Cause I, I, I was surprised. I was... I was actually in like the the room waiting for my run to start and I was just like sitting there just like mesmerized by the game. So when you can, I'll probably get around to it eventually. I actually got a long list of games I need to play. First, second one, third one's alright. Kinda how series go. Runs reference. Yeah, don't do the bad things I'm doing. Yeah, but see I don't do the uh the flyer strat, I just run the hallways. It's this, there's this, there's this in, there's this argument in like the speedrun for this game, whether you should equip the flyer now or later, and it's, it, no one really knows which way it's faster. No, the flyer strat's faster, I'm pretty sure, but it changes the run later, so I'm not used to it, so I'm not gonna just change. i rather have my club equipped for a lot of what's coming up, honestly, just so I can smack a monkey. It's really preference. That's what's interesting about running Ape Escape is... Unlike other runs where it's like, do this, do this, do this. Ape Escape's a bit more freeform. You can do a little bit more with it. Yes. Since, you know, it's not like Mario where you jump and you grab the star. This is you jump and the monkey has like four options to tell you you missed the catch, right? He can run away, he can backflip, he can throw his arms out. It's, and you gotta like react. <laughs> you gotta be ready. It's like as much as I was like beating myself up a little bit about the run, actually the fact that I got a 50 with all the bad RNG, I was like, man, I guess, I guess all my backup strats are great. Because <laughs> it was only a couple of monkeys I think I missed pretty badly. One being in Dexter. Uh... I messed up the mech fight, but I always mess up Apes with Guns of Pain sometimes. Specifically, a couple are, but not all of them. Uh, if you see any monkey with the laser gun, uh, they can kind of just one frame shoot you, and you gotta, you just eat it. There's nothing you can do about it. They can just decide to shoot you, and you get shot. Uh, the ones with Let's machine go. guns are only trouble... There's only two that are. There's the one in Wabi Sabi, and there's actually the one on the pipe up here. The only two that are really, like, a nuisance. But any laser gun monkey is scary. So. Like, what this one can do is if he sees me early and I'm IJing up to him, he can just shoot me out of the air, and I can't really dodge it. See, he decided not to shoot, but he could have just shot me out of the air. And there's not really a lot you can do about that. Now, he was running around and I landed in his hands, but that's just... Sometimes. Like, there's another gun monkey here, but he shouldn't even see me. So he's not really a nuisance. Yeah, see, he doesn't even see me. And right there, I couldn't do anything about that. The laser gun. Yeah. 
Once you once you start IJing, you're kind of like locked into that motion. You can kind of rotate a little. I'm gonna die in this tunnel. I'm gonna die in this Pikachu. Oh man! Ah, there it goes. <laughs> yeah, the run's not great, but that's fun. That tunnel's a pain in the butt because there's a laser gun monkey. These what what sucks about this tunnel is like anytime you like walk on the sides of it, you'll actually just slip even when you're hooping. This Pikachu's got a giant hitbox. It's one of the worst tunnels in the game. Yes. Pearl Pikachu's need to go, they do. Anytime they're there, they're just a nuisance. Replace them with the pigs. We need more pigs in the game. There are these pig enemies that are only in one area of the game. They don't do anything, they just kinda like, stumble around. Like, I don't even feel bad about messing up the mech fight, because the mech fight is hard to do. To hard to juggle it anyway, so I wasn't expecting to get it. I was glad we called that guy, though. Yeah, you see him in a uh, Galaxy Monkey, I think you're referring to, right? The, the third minigame. You do see him in Galaxy Monkey. Say chat during your run was mesmerized by your shreds. Yeah, I was glad there were people chatting and people that were like, yo, I remember Ape Escape. My favorite people are the people that say, I remember Ape Escape as a kid. Because those people are the ones that get it. Oh, we got the 180. I love, I love hearing about that though, man. That sucks we got the 180. I hit him too. If you hit him too soon, going up, he'll 180 on you in the air, and then you can't follow up for the uh, quick kill. It's funny, Con, because like to like your average viewer, right? It looked like I was doing everything right, and then to me, I was just like, "Oh, I fucked that up. Oh, I fucked that up." Especially because right now, I'm like. That taser is kind of nuts. <laughs> Not gonna lie. You invisible on me. Simply the better player. Rip me, pancakes. Why weren't you the one running? Could have showed me up. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was funny when I forget the girl's name that they. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Britney Spears fan? Thank you for the follow. Uh, I don't remember what the girl's name was, but it was really funny when they were like, "I'm." When he was like, "I'm gonna use the taser," and it's like you shot her over the dinosaur in a window up in the other room. <laughs> and I was just like, "Huh." That's an interesting taser. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I love that Ape Escape is like a it's it's a slow start and then you get like two gadgets and you're like, well the run is the run is completely different all of a sudden. <laughs> I I'm really glad I got basement catch. I didn't even mention shooting the button through the wall. Because I was like talking about, I don't remember what, a tantrum? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> basement catch is like, and, and I tried to explain it, but it's like really hard to explain basement catch. That I'm catching, I'm literally catching a monkey through a four. Even like Tippy was confused. <laughs> and I was like, ah oh, damn. The other day, yo nice. Oh. 
That's weird, devil. God, it is really hot in my room, and I gotta turn my AC on in a second. Well, get out of the tank. We even got unlucky in this room, which is like, I have no control over it. But that third monkey down there, he can be in like three spots, and we got the worst spot. Oof. I had a buddy of mine that just came back from vacationing in Arizona. Uh, he was in Phoenix, and I remember like asking, and I asked him today, he's like, yo, how was the trip? And he was just like, it was awful. It was 114 all week. Yo, is that my man Jay? What's up, Jay? <laughs> I was like, why did you go to Arizona during like the hottest season of the year? Favorite ape game? My favorite ape game is Ape One. I have a I have a lot of nostalgia for Ape One, so it always remains like my favorite. PlayStation Portal. God. Some places. It I can't imagine being in weather that hot. I just, I can't. It's just not my judge. It, Devil, is it the thing that has like the two joysticks on the side of the screen? Like they're trying to make a switch with PlayStation controllers? Oh god. I remember they showed that off, and I was just like, that is the dumbest looking thing I've ever seen. This game has the Metal Gear crossover, that'd be uh, Ape Escape 3. When you beat Ape Escape 3, or enter a password, you can unlock Metal Gear Solid, which is the Metal Gear crossover. Because I have the Metal Gear sounds good. Have you played it? I mean, <laughs> do I do I say I have the world record in Metal Gear? That feels a little like full of myself, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah. The only way you can really play three would be to either get an original PS2 copy, or it's available on PS3 for a digital download, or it. That's the only way to play three right now. We're pretty sure it's because of Metal Gears being Konami related and some rights issues. Like you see with a lot of stuff on like the PlayStation Three. Top five crossovers, pretty good. Yes. Oh, through the yeah, the Japanese only version. I'm sorry, you're right, Devil. You cannot you cannot get uh NTSC. Digital download. Sometimes I forget, you know, I play the Japanese version, not the English version. <laughs> For the speedrun. I don't know if Ape 3 emulates well, to be honest. Good luck, man. I've never, uh, tried. Uh. I'd love to play Ape 3 physically, but... Welcome to my circus. But, uh, I can show you my case. Uh, for some reason, I've lost the disc and I don't know where it went. You hit it? Can I have it back? <laughs> I need to hear their English voice acting. 
I want to hear. I want to hear White Monkey say, "I'll shish kebab you." <laughs> I need to hear it inside his big dragon mech. I'm never gonna get tired of seeing Brock Lesnar as a clown. Thanks, Devil. Good coffee. Clown's essential to the story. I wish the clown had an explanation. It. What's funny is, uh, you should have just looked out of place then, Devil. I, you would have had, I would have laughed visibly on the stream if I saw Brock Lesnar clown. <laughs> I would have been like, there's my boy devil. <laughs> uh, I wish the clown had a cutscene he was part of, like, even that cutscene loading into the area, it just shows the professor and he doesn't even mention the clown. Alright, so we got 4 HP, we gotta jump 7 gates. Exactly 7, don't mess it up. Gotta remind myself every time. So I don't jump the wrong number and die. <laughs> now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. For $20 for free. What? I don't want to know. I actually own a lot of the Ape games physically. I don't own the PSP games because I don't own a PSP. Uh, I'm just glad I was able to get a uh, Pippa Sar 2001 physically. That's the annoying one. Yeah, we even got good luck on this, which it was really, like, cool, but it doesn't matter because the monkey decided to, uh, turn around. Runs of the other games, just Ape Escape so far. So I've ran every single Ape Escape game except for four. Out of the 14 games, I have run 10, and I have world record in a bunch of them. Pivisar Racer, I have a record in, I... Expert 100% for 2001. Uh, I almost beat Sarah's time in Academy 1. I want to go back and grind that, but Academy 1 is not a fun game. I still have to run uh, the Aito game on the move, uh, Million Monkeys, and Ape Quest are the ones I still have to run. And I bet you can't guess which one I don't want to do out of those four games. <laughs> I didn't mention a cat as the ones I... No, the ones I haven't done, Devil. I'll go back and play a cat eventually. I want Sarah to play the game again. The only way to get her to do that is to beat her record. <laughs> Sarah's a cat streams are great. <laughs> You ever just take someone's record because you want them to come out of retirement? <laughs> That's how we got Sarge to play uh, 2001 again. I mean, him we're trading the record of 2001 back and forth. Ito's gonna demolish my time when he plays Metal Gear, alright? I really want to see it happen. I want to see him do a run where he gets perfect RNG and does all three of the clips. And I'd be like, nice. That's what I want to see, you know. Instead of this half assed together run. I haven't split since Roller Coaster. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, I'm just kind of jamming a little bit to that. 
I still need to take Sarge's time in a cat too. I haven't done that yet, and that's that's a lot of RNG. I don't know how he had a run as good as he does. Well, that's because I found the uh, I found that tech, Jay. You remember? I found the I found the ability to walk on water in that game. <laughs> Do it right. I remember B Man was like, B Man was like, yo, if you can find a way to jump to that island, you can beat this level in one try. You know who couldn't do that? Sarge. Thanks for this jump, Sarge. <laughs> so I just kind of jumped at it till it worked. <laughs> So his, uh, his Saru gets you, uh, his Daisakuzen time is, like, really good, even with the, uh, the new route changes I've found for, like, Mermaid and stuff. It's still ridiculously good of a time. Like, that's, I know Sarge says that's not good. Gotta go eat. Yeah, you do good, Pancakes. Thanks for coming out, man. As always. It's always great to see you. Even though he says he has like minutes to save on his splits, I've played Daisaku's in. That's a, that's a, that's a bold, that's a game. <laughs> up, 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 up. Sound like skill issue? A little bit. To be fair, I'm not the best at Daisaku's in. Just beat it already? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think the PSP games have that, uh, anti- like that flavor on them, so you can't play them. I don't think they did that for the PSP discs. Learned a lot? Hey, you know, that's cool, psychotic game. I've actually am putting together a guide for the game to hopefully teach a lot more people how to play. I know I, we really don't have good resources. And I'd like it if we had better. For people to learn how to play Ape Escape 1. For years we just you just go watch the the one run no name did where he did commentary over it. like I want like a good guide to the game. No 28 cycles, please no. One that, like, actually explains what's happening. <laughs> Nothing against No Names Guide. No Names Guide's great, but No Names Guide expects you to already know how to play the game. Right? And that's not, that's not very, uh, inviting to people who've never speed ran the game before and they want to, like, pick it up and learn it. It's not like, already expects you to do your due dig diligence, right? Alright, that run stunk, <laughs> but hey, that's a run. You ruined everything. You ruined everything. <laughs> if it weren't for you, it's all right. Everything would Thanks, be Bella. perfect. Always gotta do one or two, man. Stop to this now. I'm taking gotta just get all my practice in. Park. Uh, we're you still gonna be, be running joking. for a while. Sorry, I'm wrong chat. <laughs> You're funny, my bad. I'm never going One back second. To that rotten place. Let me go. You you my AC on and get my jacket. And when I do, I'll destroy you and the world so as you that know it. I so can be uh be comfortable time, while playing this game. <laughs> oh, I'm also gonna use Wait, the restroom actually. I'll be right back. You guys enjoy the credits.
Well, I'm glad that wasn't my duty hero. <laughs> Alright. Uh, set back down. Boo 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 boo. You must be joking me! My Aunt Cory is me on emotional level. I've, uh. Extra minute, how dare you, right? I've actually got a lot of gifts in here, which is funny. Where's the other one I got? Uh, yo, this one, this one's one of my favorites. Oh, that is in the wrong place. Let me move that. If you've never seen the commercial for this gif, I just want you to know it is stupidly funny. Look at this, this gif right here. All right, this is a commercial that had people in the official monkey suits and George W. Bush in the same commercial. Like what? <laughs> Like, like what? <laughs> what was Ape Escape? Did you play Ape as a young man? I definitely did play it as a lad. Oh wait, I got another one for you. I might as well show. What kind of black magic is this? It was for, it's for a British, it's for like a commercial that played in the UK for Ape Escape. Which makes it even weirder. <laughs> right? Well, well, I got another one in here. I, I, gotta, I gotta show you. Where is it? Uh, banana boat. No, we got Pippo Snake. Not Pippo Snake, though. Oh, there you go. That's a good one. Look at this one. Monkeys from Ape Escape 3 catching a woman in the middle of a wrestling ring. You know, I'm not, uh, I don't, I don't understand what, where their, where Ape comes from sometimes. Here's the, here's the, here's the classic, uh, dropkick. Classic dropkick where you can actually see the guy throwing the other guy in the suit at Pipotron on the right side. <laughs> now I'm leaving. Alright. Let me put up my sleepy boy. Not that one. Uh, out of it. Oh, what? Where is it? Oh, I turned the gifts off. And now I moved it. Great. One second while I painstakingly put this back in place. Thank you. I used to stream with like nothing but GIFs on my thing instead of a camera, so gotta love that. Third game on the PS1, nice. Uh, this was actually the first, this wasn't the first game I played on the PS1, I actually, I didn't, I originally, my first console was the NES, so <laughs> it was actually Mario Brothers 3, which it's really funny. Uh, well, if you don't, you know, you don't need one if you don't want one. It's not a requirement for playing video games. Uh, the other game I was gonna speedrun before I speedran Ape was, uh, Mario Brothers 3. Because I really enjoy Mario Brothers 3. But, you know, I went with Ape. <sighs> Here I am. keep rolling all right now I'm probably gonna reset if we get like a really bad run or I mess something up okay I, I was actually super recently I learned that I should probably play this cutscene out because it gives a chance for this monkey here to walk forward and save me time which is the silliest thing ever as my dead zone I'm getting a new ps2 controller I'm tired of uh, my dead zone issues 
Like, I don't know if you saw there, but Spike actually 180'd in the air and turned around. <laughs> when I let go of my left stick, it snaps back too far and it gives it a down input. Which kind of blows, <laughs> considering how much you have to neutral in this game. The band of any speedrunner. It's really funny that it's the left stick and not the right stick. You know, it's not the stick I use that often. It's the right stick. I mean, it's the left stick. The right stick I spin constantly. That one's fine. The left stick? No. -uh. <laughs> Been running Mega Man 1 through 3 most of the time. PS1's where my fond memories are. Have you played Mega Man 8 then? Go through both on screen and off screen. Well, this controller is apparently built tough because I've been using the same controller to speedrun Ape since I started. <laughs> so. Apparently this controller is the, the god controller. It never broke on me. The dead zone on the left stick's just fucked up, but I can fix that. It's just annoying. It's not the same. Soen's also good. Soen's pretty good. I think uh, I enjoyed Soen when I got to play as Richter more than Alucard, though. I don't even know, it's funny, I got this controller like second hand. When I bought my PS2, it came with this controller. So I, it was just destined to be my ape controller. I was looking for my like original PS2 controller I had back in the day, but I couldn't find it. I lost a lot of my, a lot of my old stuff I used to have. I can never get the ledge monkey first try. He's pretty tough. You gotta ground pound to like the height of your jump. And you gotta have a good angle. It's not even the fastest way to catch him. There's a faster way that involves uh, ramming yourself into the ledge on the left of him to give yourself a massive, like, height. But, uh, that's really tough to do. That catch just looks cool, so that's the one everyone does. <laughs> You know how you kind of do the slope jump in uh, Thick Jungle on the left side to jump up on the ledge? Uh, there is a way to do it on the underwater that makes Spike like go from underwater to the top of the water in like a frame. And then if you neutral the... I don't do the slope jumps on Jungle. Okay. They're worth practicing. They're, they save a lot of time. Uh, because Spike gets that instant acceleration, and when you're neutraling the joystick, you maintain your acceleration. If you jump out of the water at the correct timing, you'll maintain that entire acceleration to actually jump onto the ledge. It's really, it's really hard to do, but it looks it looks pretty cool. Let's go. Also, we're not going to talk about mailbox hitboxes. <laughs> Swim method, but it seems to make a better time that way, even if I get UFO first try. The swim method? To... In thick jungle? There's, there's no water back there. I, I, we'll, we'll get to it. I'll point it out to you. It's, it's always easier for me to just point at a thing we do. <laughs> Let's go! Ufolus. We almost missed it. No, this this is the slope jump right here. And I messed up because I always mess it up whenever I do Ufolus. That slope jump. It's the same idea as that. No, you fine, brother. I'm, I'm getting what you're saying. 
to be honest, when I type, um, my right hand moves faster than my left hand. It's funny, so I'll always, like, swap letters around, so I totally understand. <laughs> Slower for me? Okay, well. I mean, you do what works for you. Yes. I was just pointing out that it's the same concept as that jump. I'm really glad we got UFO list, though. Ruins. Honestly, I'm surprised I'm still awake and able to <laughs> play the game. I don't know how much. I think I'm. I think I'm coming up on being awake 24 hours. I think we're coming up on that. Stupid fingers, yeah. <laughs> Y'all good, my guy. Thank you, Pikachu's, not being a trouble. Let's hope the birds are also nice. Oh, he's already bad. I also realize I apparently have this habit where every time I do something like that was tough. Catching the boss on every map? I don't know what you mean by that. Oh, a little, a little slippage. A little slippage. Well, we did that last round. Feeling a lot better now. <laughs> sort of. Wait, I mean, retreading the same steps. So blindfolded run when? <laughs> you know. That's such a funny question. It, it's it's really funny because there's a couple spots I probably could do blindfolded. I wanted to do the roller coaster blindfolded at one point because I kind of already don't look at the screen when I do the roller coaster, but not really. Yeah, cover cover one eye. I'll play the game. A tough one would be to play the game completely muted, man. That's I know that doesn't sound weird, but. A lot of a lot of me reacting is reacting to sound cues of things off screen. <laughs> like, cause you know when a monkey sees you because you'll hear him before you see him. I'll forever love that that's called Ill Catch, because it was coined in like, I don't know how many years ago. <laughs> the catch was given a name. The catch was ill as heck, it was ill as heck, man. There we go. Yes. Wasn't 
not bad. A bit of bad. Honestly, the main thing I've been trying to like focus on is and getting the couple seconds to my summer best I don't have. Because my summer best is still like 11 Let's seconds go. off the world records. And there's a couple stages I still need to save like a second or two on. It's just, uh, that level it's tough. Like, I'm pretty sure I can still gold Spectre's Factory. Uh, definitely Dexter. There's a couple stages. Coral Cave, uh, if I get a really good catch on Bong Bong would, but asking for that is like pulling teeth. I'm lucky Bong Bong went so well when I did it for GDQ because I don't normally catch that guy. I just wasn't feeling... <laughs> it's weird, like I went to him like he was like safer than the other monkey when he's not, but <laughs> in my mind I was like, oh, I'll just catch him no problem, don't worry about it, he won't, he won't go crazy. I think I just wanted to show off the red monkey while I was there. Because he's the only one that you could pop, probably catch in a run that shows how ruthless red monkeys can be. Oh, double catch. Love that. Love the double catch. I can get that every time. Yes. Decide to be rude. Swing his arms at me instead of walk forward. Yeah, that's the that's the little like RNG you got to deal with. That can be a pain in the butt. Like we could have saved a second if he didn't decide to throw his arms, right? <laughs> But I wasn't gonna move because if I moved, I would not have caught him. I was gonna wait until he was done swinging his arms. Because I know he'd run into that net after he was done. Nope. That's the first net. Did I even do the out of bounds? I think I did. Yeah, I think I did the seam run. Yeah, so this monkey here is like way safer than Bong Long. He's like way safer. <laughs> Alright, good run. It's alright, because Dexter's next, and Dexter's the one. Gotta rotate the camera for the lag. Gotta miss that platform. Yo, big raid from my man Toa. Yo, what's up, Toa? What's up, raiders from Toe's stream? How'd Crash Bash go, my guy? Did you PB? How are y'all doing? I am Drunk Kami. I speedrun Ape Escape. If you like monkeys, this is the place. How y'all doing? What's up, Hulu? Ooh, <laughs> I'm sorry, man. That happens in Crash Bash, though, right? Ooh, we got the wall push. Nice. Ooh, we did the add bounds. I'd be afraid to run that game for like things like that. I don't think Devil's here. I need to. <laughs> I want to shout you out though. Just give me a slogan. I know. I know you know I'm busy. Oh, Devil with the save. Thank you, Devil. 
If you guys don't follow Toe, he speedruns Ape Escape games. He's a pretty cool guy. Very good friend of the stream. Just got back, perfect. Yes. I've never played Crash Bash, man. Watching you play it, I don't know if I'll ever play it. I think uh, Bushi does like a. I know, I know. Sarge mentioned something about Bushi doing like a. They get like a hundred or something people together to play Crash Bash. <laughs> I'll probably do it around then. Say goodbye to my anti-terror saves. I'll miss them forever, devil. Let's go! Yo, nice stick jump. Ooh -hoo. Catch that guy. Really good, man. Miss my shot, even better. <laughs> I mentioned it. I I know I've I've said this before. Like, what killed the dinosaurs? The ice age. Ooh, this is this is spicy. If I'm quiet, I'm sorry. <laughs> right, we'll lose like 30 seconds in the level and then I'll go back to not paying attention. <laughs> this level do it and it's this one. Let's go! Every level from this point on are like super hard. Except for sushi. Sushi's kind of free. There's a second or two in sushi, it's not that bad. Look on the run, I'll be lurking. No problem, though. Let's go. Fast man, Yo, absolutely. Pull in her own Discord. What'd you do, devil? Yeah, stick jump's kind of a big factor in if you get the mammoth early or not. Because if you're not really doing the boost jumps or the there, you're kind of gonna probably miss the mammoth, or it's not worth trying to aim for him. Which is okay too, there's still other ways to do that stage. Honestly, shooting the mammoths early is just because you can't hoop that entire length with your hoop, so you gotta reactivate the hoop. It also sets that monkey up. The faster you do it, the more to the right the monkey is, which is just plain, is just faster. Oh, well, that's bad. No. Oh, Don. Please, Don, don't do this. Don paying out with ammo, what the fuck? Yes. Thanks, Don. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that's gonna, that might make up for the time loss. <laughs> he gave me one of each. What a guy. We got an extra shot in the factory. And extra homing means uh, faster UFOs. Yo, good old Vendreds. Oh man. I'm going for it. The zombie rituals. Yeah, I heard you, man. Don't think I didn't hear you. Oh god. Why did you do that, devil? Oh yeah, absolutely. Mean. It's a meme card, that's why. <laughs> Just 
just didn't want to get hit by him. I know you don't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh, so it's like even funnier, right? That you put that there. Like, you're the one who did Kind of how it always rolls, right? Let's go. Uh, no, it's just when I do it. I know people that do it as soon as the cutscene starts. I just have a specific spot I always stop it in. Then, yeah, it's whatever you like. Yo, oh baby, a triple. Yeah, honestly, splits are just for you to... They're just a tool for you to see where you're uh, losing or gaining time, so... You can do it on the last catch when the cutscene starts. I just have a specific time I do it at every time. That I can... See, I'm free to not have to do anything, so I can time when I push this to be the same time every time. Do enter next stage? You can do enter next stage. There's nothing wrong with that. They're just a tool for you to use. So you can see where you're losing or gaining time, how good of a pace you're on, whatnot. It's funny, I actually do it in different places depending on the ape game. This is the only one I do it at the, like, exit. Exit training on the first black screen? Okay. I don't even, like, I just left my training in with the levels. They're pretty, uh... Okay, the camera's gonna get stuck on that right there. Thought so. I love when that happens. Yo, Castlevania, you've been playing, uh... Which one, then? Let you... Yo, the double? Are we gonna get him before he goes in? We definitely are. <laughs> no, that was a double. Yes! Oh, pseudo regalia. I gotcha. Yeah, Toe actually just beat that original. Toe's been playing that. I did get a double catch in the GDQ run, though. That's what's funny. And I was like, wow, that's super... It, it's funny, I got... I got some of the best luck you can get, and some of the worst luck in the same run. <laughs> that's just, that's so hilarious to me. Oh, you got double catch in Wabi Sabi, and then you got an extra phase in the TV Tower boss, because, you know what, we want you to lose a minute. I want you to know I didn't have a timer running on my end because I did not want to see the time. <laughs> I just didn't run a timer on my end. I was just like, this run is ride or die. I don't care what it ends up being. <laughs> Because I knew if I had a timer, and I was like, I was like, yo, plus three minutes, I would have, like, been a lot more stressed. Double on coffins where it's at? Yo, getting all of them on coffins where it's at. 
you get good luck, you don't have to worry about it. Tape for you, that's tape for you. You get the best pink RNG in your life, and then yellow gives you nothing but chops. You hate Coffin Room? Coffin Room's pretty tough, even with like the setup to catch both monkeys, because uh, the monkey seeing you is like RNG if they're gonna, like, you can kind of hope that you get specific monkeys to jump, but sometimes they'll just all jump down at once and you gotta react, or they'll jump down one at a time and you lose time, and you can't, you can't really do anything about it. So you gotta hope you get the good pattern, and then go for the good pattern every time. Oh, just have good big yellow RNG? You right, you right. You know, sometimes I don't think about it, Quiz. That's why I got you here. You're the big brain. Pretend stun club. Yo, gadget manip. It's fine. Just gadget manip the boss. I said I'll miss them, devil. Someone wasn't listening. Yes. This is still pretty good. Uh, we have to be. City Park's the one that might mess it up, though. So we're gonna we're gonna hope it doesn't. Because I'm playing the game. <laughs> Are you practicing for your run, Devil? Your run's on Saturday, right? I, I should say day two, actually. I don't know what day it is for you. I'm going for it. Oh, he's EA Sports right now? That makes sense. Not bad, huh? Oof. Let's go! That's why I try to keep my room super like air temperature controlled and whatnot for my consoles and things like that. You really had to give me that RNG. Oh my god, did that really happen? That actually happened. Crazy. Can't believe I gotta catch him through the other side. Oh well. It's a little bit of time loss. Dehumidifier? You know what's funny, Quiz? I can't actually, like, have a dehumidifier in my room. It kills my throat, man. City Park's not going that great. That's fine. Kills your nose, yeah. What was even worse is that my parents bought me like a... My, my mom like listens to QVC when they say things work. And they bought one of those air ionizers where they're supposed to... I don't know what they do. They're supposed to ionize the air. Needs to wear a monkey helmet. We've had that happen. I think someone in the community made made a monkey helmet. Please, Pikachu. Just let me catch the monkey and leave. Please, just let me catch the monkey and leave. <laughs> Pikachu. Oh, it ate my jump. Slow bait my jump. Yeah, there it all goes. Yes. <laughs> That's pretty normal for City Park. Oh. Purple Chew. No bravery. Not at all, Quiz. I got hit twice. <laughs> Didn't matter. It's 
Skate park's random. You know, that, that tunnel is like the bane. I'm going for it. Am I hitting the Pikachu? Then I've got double my problems. Gotcha. I was scurrying around its hitbox already. Extra ammo for this in case I mess up. You shoot in training. <laughs> One more. Nice. Lol. <laughs> Sub hour is where, it, where it's at, Quiz. It's alright. Sub hour in every ape game, right? Yeah, that's the quick kill where you juggle him with the explosives that makes him faster than catching the green monkey. Uh, it's just really, it's like position dependent, timing dependent. It's pretty rough. Zato equals one. I very rarely do I actually get that, uh, quick kill. I didn't even need the extra ammo. <laughs> I th can we kill one less robot now? I think we have two shots left, right? I couldn't see it in time. I'll check it in this level, it's alright. So if I can kill one less robot, that would be great, but I think not. Let's go! I think we only have two bullets. We have one, alright, we have to kill all the robots still. Catch the pretty receptionist. Button. Guilty Gear plus R. Hopefully get basement catch. Did get basement catch. Nice. Nice. Feels good. I know you're doing that on purpose, devil. Nice. It's not getting by these explosives now. Looking good. Looking good. Get stuck on the slope because tape escapes cool like that. Oh, and we got a good monkey position. Oh, look at that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's a good one. Let's go, game. Let me not mess up my IJs now like uh, like I've never done them before. Okay. Good run. Get good RNG now. That's the one. This guy and Spectre are now pretty much the deciding factors if we PB or not. Oh, and Coffin Room, but Coffin Room should go fine. 
You know, he doesn't want me to PB, I guess. Oh, no pause button. What are you going to do then? Oh, he really doesn't want me to. Oops, all UFOs. Can't start the game. What happened to your old PS2 controller, man? I even go in there? Is this as bad as my controller troubles? Yo, give me some reds so we can just get out even. Thank you. One more? I, you know, I'm the guy who gets triple UFOs more than anyone else. Honest, it's gotta be. It's gotta be. It's always three UFOs, man. Oh, now he's giving me missiles too. Oh, don't do this. Thank you, game. Great. Alright, well, we. No more PB. It's gone. PB's gone. Rip me, I guess. Wanting to play the game. <laughs> Are you still not? What are you doing? No, it's it's actually not me. Like I'm just I'm just telling you straight up. <laughs> like honestly, it's not. Well, oh, oh, you do it now for the third one? Oh, what a nice boss! Thanks, man. I guess. <laughs> How? Why, game? Why do I have such a good TV tower into that bullshit? I lost a, almost a whole minute of no fault of my own. <laughs> Just FYI. <Yes. laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. How many runs have you watched of people go. grinding quiz? I know you watch a lot of Ape One. I know my movements right. I'm actually copying the way El Dorado does it. You got this? Oh no, we're. F I mean, I'm gonna complete the run. It's just not a PB. I know you watch a lot. Welcome to my circus. In a while. Yeah, I'm just copying the way El Dorado does it. Like verbatim. It's how I learned it, so. Well, we had two extra phases there because of bad RNG. Actually. 
You're supposed to have two red-blue phases, and then you're supposed to shoot him four times, and the way you walk around manipulates if he gives you the attack to let you hit him or not. Just sometimes he'll shoot missiles instead, and then if he shoots missiles, you just have the chance to have that phase, another third phase, and I had a fourth phase because he decided to shoot missiles again. There was no control over it. Like, the best we can do is try to manipulate him into doing the attack, but if he decides not to... Walk better than exactly, yeah. The other way to manipulate him is to be on the other side of the map and walk uh, concentrically with him, but I've found it's just better to be, like, where I, where I walk. Yet, yeah, here we are. So, that's alright. Uh, 4 HP, we're jumping 7 gates. Yeah, you can do that too. That's the other way to do it, Quiz. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. That's the way I originally did it for a long time, and I started just copying the way El Dorado did it after watching his runs a bunch. And it was working great, and today, today and yesterday during the GDQ run, it decided to be a butt. So. Again, lucky? Never lucky. Gotcha. Gotcha. 180 into the coffin, 180 into the coffin. Oh, oh, oh no. no! Gotcha! This bites! Sure does, Quiz. That's a good run, though. It's not like it's a bad run. It's a good run. We're gonna get out of Jake at a four, like a 44. Go. That's a pretty dang good run. Yeah, exactly. There's like nothing to be upset about in this run except for the bad RNG we got on the boss. And I'm not gonna get mad at bad RNG. <laughs> Because I know I played well. Like, I can get a little mad, but I'm probably- I'm not gonna get mad. By the way, don't look at the fact that I lost 36 seconds to the UFOs. I don't want to get into that. <sighs> Sorry, I be on. Start grinding guided missiles. Why? For double hits. You only need one extra one. You don't really need more than that. It's also faster to hoop at them and club the UFO. I would just be killing the, uh, the, um, antibodies. The tutors, they're called, in, uh, Dexter. And if I don't get it off them, I'm just, whatever. Or I'd kill him. I'd probably kill the blue bird in... Alright, Quiz. <laughs> gotcha. 
or the blue bird in um, Frozen Retreat, Frosty Retreat. We were lucky we had an extra shot. Uh, you know, thanks for this jump, sword. I don't have a segue to this run. Pretty much if we don't get a 5 on Spectre, we're going to lose time, so we're going to lose time. <laughs> uh, I don't have my extra explosive pellet. No, I just... No, I, I still wouldn't do it. I just get better at shooting the UFOs. I mean, I've always said that's like my weakest spot in the run because I'm really bad at first-person shooters. You gotta do what? You sure about that? Jay, what you gonna do when they come? Gotta believe. What you gonna do? Gotta do what? Gotta do what? <laughs> We're not playing Parappa today. We're both the college kids in line. You gotta wrap your way to the front of the bathroom line so that you don't miss your pants. I don't know about that quiz. This is a really fast Spectre too. Is that like this is like a legit good Spectre? Did not hear about that. Oh, we were almost sub 48. That would have been cool. Almost. Hot. That's still a good run. That's still a pretty dang good run. <laughs> you ruined everything. You ruined everything. What's how I feel about the city you, park? Everything would be perfect. Do a few lines for a fan animation. Thanks, Zingo. Hope you're doing well, Zingo. Thanks, though. stop to this now. I'm taking you back to the amusement park. Thanks, Quiz. You must that is junkie. fucked up. <laughs> You're not taking me anywhere. I'll never go back. I'm never going back to that. The man's like an place. icon for you like listen, kids. And you listen good. Grew up with Parappa. And when I do, the voice. I'll destroy you and the Thanks, Jay. You know it, so you better be ready Ooh. because next Where's my time, water? I, I haven't drank water this whole time. Wait, Wait Spectre. Spectre. Yes. All right. Good run. We are going to do another one because I'm not stopping now. We're on a roll. Maybe we'll PB. Hopefully. That was this close. Like even with City Park. Get our money back. He went wild on Facebook. Oh god. I don't want bad press, so I'm gonna call them bad and in turn give myself bad press. <laughs> How much money it was? I'm gonna guess like $80. Boo, 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 boo. Like 200 under? Yeah, that's not even that much. 
I don't know how much money he would have made off of doing voice acting for Parappa, so... <sighs> Parappa wasn't like a big money maker, I don't think. Well, I don't think it would have made residuals off the game selling anyway, it would have just made money off the recording the voice lines. Every time! There's something wrong with my controller in these stages. Yes. Yeah, one did well, and then two did moderately okay, right? And I don't think Um Jam or Lammy did well, even though that game is amazing. I don't think it did. Yeah, I don't. I didn't think it was. Even though J Lammy is great, I love playing Lammy. Uh, the Noodle song for two is <laughs> two has really good songs. To be fair, <laughs> Klonoa two. Oh man, aren't they uh re-releasing Klonoa? Klonoa 2? Something along those lines? I heard something like that. Or they already do it? I never played a Klonoa game, so I don't really know. Wow, we got the double jump? Oh, it is out. Okay, yeah, I never played those games, so I... I don't, know. I don't think I have interest in... What are you doing, new mechanics? Yes. Sold super well. <laughs> did it sell better than Klonoa 2 did back in the day? Like, people feel like they had nostalgia for this game that they've never played. No, I, I, you seem like a person who would have played Clono 2 back in the day, Quiz, to be fair. I'm going for it. Never played one. I've never played either, so... No, no, no. I definitely played Klonoa 1 at my cousin's house, where we would swap the controller every time one of us died, but I never, like, owned it or played it on my own. BRB? Yeah, no problem. So, I don't really have a, like, any attachment to the series. It's not like Toomba, where I've never played Toomba, but I played a demo, and I've always wanted to play Toomba. <laughs> they look very pretty. How's the gameplay, though? Aren't they, uh, they're, they're side-scrollers, right? Good and safe. Like nothing, nothing crazy, special, or weird. Just very basic uh, side-scrolling platformers, right? Unless Clonoa was three. Oh, 2.5D. Okay. You know, we'll get another one off the ground. Let's give it a minute or two. Like, the beginning stuff in Ape isn't ridiculously hard, but it can be pretty rude. Motec heavy game? I mean, that's... That's not a bad thing, right? Like, everybody has to start somewhere with playing a platformer, and that obviously sounds like a good one if you've never played one before, because it's not like... It's not like playing, like, Glover, right? Where if you play Glover, you have to fully understand how this ball and hand function together to beat that game. <laughs> if you've never played a platformer before, it's a bit bit jarring. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I like that design. I've always liked that design, where it's like 
easy, fun for casual play, but it has a bit of challenge to it if you want to do that. If you want to go for it. Yes! It's been a while since I played a Kirby game. Just have a taunt button, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Press the button to make Klonoa make a funny sound. Aha! We are oozing. I'm going for it. Cruising in the ooze. Flips, okay. Nope, yep, just never played those games. I wouldn't be opposed to trying them. I mean, I've always known they've existed. I think the Klonoa character is one I can just recognize if I see it. But I've never, never really played them. You have to wonder if the remaster did so well, are they going to try to make a new Colonella game? Off the, uh, the heels. Yes! Thirteen years before? Wow. Yeah, well, that's not a good sign. You gotta have that thing ready for the, the marathon, right? Smart idea. Maybe you'll meet your original uh, time you X them, the 45 minutes. The big bad villain has taken over and you have to stop them by collecting the power items. That kind of idea. Or just, or more like kids matter where like, we're going on a picnic. Such a weird. No, there is nothing wrong with that devil. Yes. Robocop when you're eight. So Robocop three? Do you mean like RoboCop for eight-year-olds? Or like, you're watching this gory death scene as an eight-year-old? Oh. Oh. Let's go! <laughs> oh my god, why? No, I get it. You're saying, welcome back. You're saying that it's not made for kids, but it's a kid's game. Sorry, right, don't worry. You didn't miss. You didn't miss much, Con. Just uh, trying to get the opening of a run going. Klonoa is made to traumatize? Is that for real? Like, they made the game to cause distress to the children playing it? That seems weird. Why would... That seems like an odd choice. Oh, 
Well, if I remember back in the day, it was like Nintendo was the kids' game console, right? That's how people viewed it. And then, like, Sega was. Did we have a bit more, like, preteen, older? And then, like, PlayStation was like, here's gun games. Here's. Here's where things get a lot more. a lot more adults. Uh, but, you know, not all uh, PlayStation games are very, like, adult-oriented. I mean, I had games like Buzz Lightyear, Star Command. Um, there were the Looney Tunes games. They're definitely not really adult. Toy Story games, Bugs Life. Bugs Life on PS1 is a pretty good game. Oh, uh, something like Twisted Metal, absolutely. Like, I think if you named like an adult-oriented PlayStation game, you could probably name a child one as well. Or a child-friendly one. I mean, PlayStation 1 gives us the classic Rayman brain games, after all. <laughs> And it's kind of crazy if you look into, like, the library for the PlayStation. Yeah, Destrega and Emperor's New Groove. There's a, there's your, uh, there's your two right there. One for each side. Rayman was hard because it was one of those, uh, I always, like, I don't have a term for it, but they made these... Rayman is the best kind of this thing, but they make these these 2D platformers where the whole stage is one screen and it's like a maze to get through the screen. Like Earthworm Jim does it. Uh, Rayman does it. A lot of like lesser 2D platformers did it. As opposed to like, here's a screen, then you transition to a new one. Lion King game? That, that was a hard game. Oh, you mean like the same kind of style, yeah. And I've never liked the games that do that. Rayman just kind of does it the best. But the fact that you have to 100% Rayman to fight the final boss is really something. <laughs> and to like find all the lungs, you have to like make sure you have Rayman hit specific cues that spawn in the boxes, right, that you can't see or know about. Like, oh, I didn't know if I climbed this specific vine, it spawns in a lump, a crate to punch. I didn't know. That's required to fight the final boss. Master Blaster is too hard for you? Ah, interesting. Yes. Metro like gameplay. No, that's understandable if it's not your jam. You know, like I don't like shooters. I'm just like straight up. I'm just not good at them. Yeah, lost. Yeah. You gotta draw your own map so you don't get lost, right? <laughs> Let's go! Like, whenever I play, like, a first-person shooter, I have a really hard time um, being interested in the game. Because I don't particularly find that gameplay fun. Whereas if I play an RPG, I'm, like, hooked immediately. It's just kind of the way I my brain works. I'm going for it. So whenever I play like uh, what 20, 2047 or whatever it is, twenty seventy seven, I'm not. I'm definitely not into that. That game's like. 
I really don't like open world games. I know that game's not really open world, but it kind of is. I really don't like those kind of games. Like, uh, I don't find them fun. I, I think, like, uh, I know people tout like uh, the the last two Zelda games, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, are the greatest games ever made, and I just don't enjoy them because I don't like that style of gameplay, exploration, and whatnot. I've always been one who liked rigid level structures in like a tailored game. So something like uh, Elden Ring was not that fun for me. As opposed to something like Demon Souls. Yes. Yeah, see I could agree with you, but my brain just sees like all the cookie cutter elements that are constantly repeated in an open world game. And the lack of, like, I don't know, uniqueness to the encounter sometimes. Let's go! Like, I'm just, I know I'm just harping on what's bad about an open world game, not necessarily what's good about it. I know a lot of people actually like that structure of a game. They like the freeness you get out of that. And I totally get it. I know a friend of mine, a cat, she comes to the stream every now and then. That's like her favorite thing ever, is the fact that the game doesn't tell her where to do or what to do. She can just do whatever she wants. And I always need like something a bit more rigid. Not the main story missions? Yeah, I can see that. But it's funny because I played um, Bomb Rush Cyberfunk, which, as opposed to Jet Set Radio, is a uh, free exploring uh, game and not a level based structure, right? And I loved the shit out of that game. That game was amazing. So, I don't know, maybe it's something else besides just that whole. How is Bomb Rush? Bomb Rush feels like they kept making Jet Set Radio games. It's so good, Quiz. You do have to keep in mind, though, that it's not the same structure as it, so you might... You might get a little, like, um... I'm not gonna say bored, but... I found a lot of fun in that game in figuring out how to grind and wall ride up to get like certain graffiti spots and things like that. They also were very nice to carry over the fact that there are a ton of unlockable characters in the game and that makes me happy. <laughs> uh, I used to like Minecraft. Let's go! Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to buy Ace Combat on release. Yeah, I do find that if I have too many options, it does overwhelm me. And I just don't want to do anything at that point. <laughs> like, talking about something like Minecraft, when I used to play Minecraft, even with all the new stuff in Minecraft, I would still just dig and mine and build a little house and be happy and not do all that stuff. Yeah, see, what you're describing would be the perfect, like, setup for, like, an open-world game, and there are open-world games that have done that very well. Like, absolutely. I do find, um, there are quite a few games that come out nowadays that kind of use it as, like, this is the selling gimmick as it's open-world. You see it, like, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, right? That's an open-world game. That's, like, the first ever actual open-world Pokemon game. I didn't play it, but I can't describe it, but I feel like a lot of games nowadays are going this open world route and giving the players a lot more choice. Which isn't a bad thing, but I'm just saying like I prefer a more rigid structure to gaming. Like Ape is, I just do level, then I go to the next level. So I'm 
like Demon Souls is actually like separated by bosses. You beat the boss, you unlock like you go from one one to one two to one three, right? Which I like that way better than I like Dark Souls, which is a bit more a uh, bit more open in what you can do. I think it's just the way my brain works with how it likes certain things. I can't say I was ever interested in Cyberpunk, and... When I saw it, and then I saw gameplay of it, and it made me less interested in it because it looked like the same... ...generic cookie-cutter stuff you'd see in any open-world game. It's just the, the world they tried to create was at least somewhat interesting. Condensed content. Yeah. I can see that. Or it's just like, here's the side content for, uh, for this area, and you're just like picking flowers or something, and it has nothing to do with anything, and it feels like you're playing an MMO. Where they like, kill five enemies in the gully. And that kind of stuff really takes you out of the experience and isn't interesting, but it's just there to kind of fill time. Yeah, padding, Zord, padding. Like, you can have a great... Yeah, sometimes downtime. See, this, this whole thing is like, you can be like, I don't... The thing about this is because video games are like a form of art, you can say like, I don't like... I like open world games and here's why, and someone can say, I don't like open world games and list the same exact thing. It's really just preference and what you enjoy. I need to turn the sound down on that. <laughs> Thanks, Khan. Are you good, brother? I'm going for it. Please do. Why did it scare the crap out of you again, Devil? Maybe I won't change it. It's my favorite Spectre noise, alright? Enjoys the ASMR. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Perfect. Trying to perfect the art of speedrunning here. What do you think I'm doing, devil? What are you doing? He's just running in place. Classic. Yeah, we're a little slow here, so I have to IJ here to dodge this boulder. Or else that boulder would hit me when I try to... His armor drop RNG in that game. Darn it. Well, there's my time loss. Like, I thought specific enemies... I thought specific enemies were guaranteed drops, but I'm probably thinking of the 007 game Sarge was playing. That's how much I remember SAS.
Well, that level kind of blew, but that was a pretty average, uh... Yeah, no problem. Thank you, Quiz. Though my I don't I don't see like Metroidvania styled games as like games that are like open world, right? Because technically they're like uh they're just you're locked by getting need to get items to progress in certain ways. That's so technically not open world. Because you gotta learn a new ability. So something like Blasphemous 2 just came out. That's like a Metroid style game. Oh my god! Love it. Yep, and the game ate my input. Because the lag from looking at the waterfall. Blech. <laughs> if we catch this guy fast, yeah. Won't matter. I mean, it's alright, we can still make a bowl that time. Yes! It's not reset worthy. Plus, full runs are good, I gotta do that run on the marathon anyway. Jell has made it into the chat, guys. You can tell because he's quoting the clown. <laughs> he's excellent. I was ape tonight? You know, we almost PB Jell, but. I had probably one of the worst lucks I've ever had in TV Tower with the boss, and he completely ruined the run. We lost an entire minute to the boss of TV Tower. That's kind of crazy. How you doing, Jell? How's your day going, man? It's rough, man. It's safe escape. <laughs> I can't get mad at it. The run was really good, so I'm pretty happy with my performance at least. You're great, you think? Well... There are indeed. Each minigame has their own category. Um, I don't think I don't think any of the minigames have uh, are part of the category extensions. I think they just have their own category on speedrun.com. Normally for like esoteric stuff, like uh, I have world record in like training room RTA. That's not part of any main board. It's actually part of a board called category extensions for game escape category inspections. So, like if you look up Messel Gear, it's its own board. It's not part of Ape 3's board. If you want to laugh, look at the uh, look at the the, the, the times on uh, look at the speed run for Spectre Boxing. That'll give you a good laugh. <laughs> Actually, I think the only one I don't have the record in for Ape Three is the. Uh, there's only one mini game in Ape Three I don't have the record for. I don't know if that one has a board because it's kind of just like. Not really like a speed runnable thing. It's being considered one. Yeah, I know what you mean. But like the mini game is you rotate the stick, let go of the button, you get a distance, and then the game. It's like it's like a home run, right? It's like it's like hitting the it's like hitting the dummy with the home run bat, more or less. But I'm rotating my stick and then letting go of it to throw a monkey. So it's not really like there's no there's no like challenge there besides letting go of the stick, right, to get the monkey to hit a specific time. In other games, oh, games you've never played. Yep. I get you, I get you, man. Nice, devil. He did the classic bullet through the wall at you. 
gotcha. Yes. And that up. I rarely go outside like a certain zone of uh, games I've watched. I mean, the one one stuff I've watched uh, pretty recently that I'm not actually into, but I want to be, is Metal Gear speedrunning. Because there's a couple people in like our little uh, community who like like I watch House. House is great. Uh, he's like a pretty much a master at all the Metal Gears. I'm going for it. I can see that. And, like, I don't know really anything about Metal Gear. I've never played a Metal Gear game. My closest thing to playing Metal Gear is playing Metal Gear. So... Seeing that is pretty cool, you know, seeing the little tricks they do and maneuvers. Since I've already speedrun a game, I kind of understand what's happening already, sort of. I get like a feel of it just by watching. You know, you don't get the little nuances that you would get from actually learning it yourself. But you are getting like the gist of the run from watching it, especially if the person's really good at explaining it. Is considered an honor if Lord Ferris was allowed. I mean, Ape 2 has Dick Percent, where we catch Dick in Pirate Isle. If you want to talk about like esoteric categories that are just kind of fun, funny. Uh, Vex. Uh, Vex has Balls Percent, which Balls Percent is a good category because it shows off a lot of the interesting tech you can do in Vex. But the whole point is to get to a spot in the game where you uppercut a guy in the balls and at the front ends. But it actually shows off a lot of the interesting tech of the game. Take something like, uh, you talk about Spyro. Spyro has categories for collecting a certain amount of dragons, right? The 120 dragon, I think like the 80 dragon, just for fighting Nork. Or something. The 117%. Then it has something like Vortex, where the whole point of Vortex is use the level cheat so you can go to every level and then just get to the end of the level as fast as possible, and that really, uh... No, no, he's the one with the gun deeper into the cave. He's the- he looks like a pirate captain. His name is Richard. Like, his actual name is Richard. <laughs> Let's go! I get you. It's cool. I did Ape 2 for a bit. I owe Quiz a dick percent run, so that's probably going to happen on the channel eventually. Quiz wants uh, their record taken. <laughs> Quoting Quiz here. <laughs> Let's go. Quiz is a phenomenal Ape 2 runner. Oh no, I'll make my title, I'm, I'm catching all the dick. Doesn't bother me. <laughs> I can tell everyone, hey guys, I am the world record holder in dick percent. We were making jokes about running that back to back with Vex so that you do the uh, the dick and balls percent, right? 24 7 dick runs, exactly. <laughs> and what, you got you got nipple percent in uh in Mario Odyssey, you know, get Mario's nipples out as fast as possible, you know, get the shirtless 
Mario skin. You got what? What other esoteric categories you got? Pet all the dogs in Breath of the Wild. Like, they're just these categories that exist, and it's cool because people enjoy doing it. It doesn't have to be just beat a game as fast as possible, right? What's happening? What's wrong with you? Do you realize what you're saying? Do you know who you're talking to? Snap out of it. Pull yourself together. together. Can you hear me? It's no, no use. I think it's no use is my favorite follow-up to all of. I'm really glad the professor just says the meme line. It's no use. That was a bad city park. Yes. Talking about esoteric categories. Now, if you want to talk about categories that aren't necessarily esoteric, that makes sense. There's a category for Ape Escape called No IJ, where you're not allowed to use the infinite jump. And what's cool about it is it has a lot of tech that's not used because we can infinitely jump. And that category was kind of made with the idea that, you know, I, there are people that believe that if you do, like, like, I'm using the slingshot here. I'm cheating, right? There's people who believe that doing things like this is cheating. That's why you have, like, glitchless runs and things like that. And they want to play a more, like, what kind of is developer intended speed run, let's say. So Ape has a category called No IJ, and No IJ is a harder category than regular any percent because they have a lot more interesting tricks in it you can do with the hoop and using the flyer and things like that. It's not faster, but it is interesting because it's a different kind of speedrun for someone who might not necessarily like just rhythmically using this. Never use IJ again. Sorry, Pancakes. Nice. Good job. It's against the law. Who's writing these laws? What kangaroo court is this? Yeah, there's a bunch of no major village categories because people like that kind of thing and they like comparing their times against other people who like that kind of thing. It's a big community kind of thing going on. Touching grass in Lego games. I don't know that per se, but that sounds funny. <laughs> that sounds like a funny time for whoever's running it. Go touch grass per se. Oh, he's too far away. Try that again. I know when I was, uh, when I was doing, when I was speedrunning Dark Souls, right, I would speedrun Dark Souls, all bosses, glitches, because I didn't know the glitches, and Dark Souls 1, I think it is, I don't know if it's 1 or 2, has a glitch that just gives, like, the Dragon Tooth a dagger moveset, and if you do it, it lets you, like, three-shot bosses, and I thought that took away a lot of the fun of the game, so I was like, yo, let me just do a glitchless. And, you know, it was a fun time for me. <laughs> soft lock percent? How fast can you get soft locked? I love that. That's funny. Exactly. Whatever you enjoy doing. You know, categories like 100% as opposed to any percent always makes sense. It soft locks your save? Amazing. Absolutely phenomenal. Sorry, I got the hiccups. Oh god. 
I'm about to use the restroom after this. That coffee is going right through me. Let's go back. Thank you. Practice comms. Yo, you all set? Yeah, well, I'm surprised you're not asking me to, like, calm your run. Let's be right out of the bathroom <laughs> after the run. I can talk about the intricacies of a game I've never played, right? <laughs> I'll tell you, if, if you did that, I would actually spend the whole time talking about Skyscraper. Well, they have that game that you play with a, uh, what a roll of, uh, toilet paper roll, right? As the controller. I forget what that game was. No, 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 no bidet percent. Bidets are banned. That's uh, that's pal only, devil. That's pal only. I know what I said. Skill issue, devil. Skill issue. <laughs> yeah, call Big Water. Call him up. Tell me you have bidet installed tomorrow. You're never gonna get. You're never gonna get the world record. How is this game speedrunning, if you know by any chance? It is slower than the NTSC version. Just outright. Thoughts on Ape Academy? Ape Academy 1 is an alright collection of minigames. I have fun playing it. Ape Academy 2 is a way better game. Ape Academy 1 is okay. Ape Academy 1 expects a lot out of you. When you get to the, like the later part of the game, um, they kind of expect you to do stuff you can't physically do, like... Uh, sorta. I mean, Crash Bandicoot 2 is faster on the PAL version. Devil with the plug. You're happy I like you, Devil. I mean, I like the game. I have, like, what, the fastest emulated time of the game, because I don't have a PSP to play it on hardware, or a PSTV, mind you, to also play it on hardware. Uh, but they expect a lot out of you, so you gotta be ready for the minigames to get really hard, really fast. So if you can put up with that, it's a pretty alright pretty alright game. Hey, you got me, Con, I wouldn't know anything about that. Yes. It's true, Devil, they don't. You were the only one. I still get X'd on my ACAD 2 all cards about Black Guru. ACAD 2? Absolutely great game. It, it may not seem it on the surface, but when you play it, it's a lot of fun. It's really interesting, like, customizing your card deck in that game to the mini games you're good at or want to play to fight people with, and I really enjoy that. Speedrunning the game is a nightmare, though. I can't say I've ever looked into how, like, PAL conversions come about. Because I know a lot of games um, start with the JP version and then get a uh, NTSC and PAL version off of that.
What, what we actually want, not necessarily a randomizer mod, is for survival mode to be put into Ape 1 and 2. Uh, survival mode is this mode in Ape 3 where it loads up every stage back to back to back to back and you have to catch every monkey. And then when you catch every monkey, it goes to the next stage. And you catch every monkey, it goes to the next stage. It would just make for a very interesting playthrough of Ape 1 and 2. That on first visit, you can catch and have to catch every monkey. With all your gadgets unlocked from the start. Also, one life. Survival mode can be rough. Ape 3 specifically, you actually only have one transformation stock. Which you can only means you can only transform once before you gotta wait for the bar to fill up to transform again. Because Ape 3 added uh, transformations you can do. But it would be really cool if that could actually be a thing. Now, I don't think you're gonna get that anytime soon, though. It's your last supper, <laughs> yeah. What's up, fan? How you doing, man? How's life tree? One of the cool dudes. Do you know these gates were random? It's okay, Scion told me. Six gates. Made my day off. Heck yeah, my guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. I learned a lot from this game. Racing Scion. Yeah, there's supposed to be a gate there, actually. And this section, there can be two. Right? There are two spots. There's one here, and then one up here. The gate wasn't down there. They're random. But it's always 10 gates. It's always 10 gates. It's also only the second section. The first section is always the same. I kind of give props to them for actually doing that and not just repeating what they did in the first section. Making it like the same thing every time. I don't know, did they think someone was going to ride, ride it twice? I don't know, but it's kind of funny that they did that. A uh, bad RNG, it looks like. And he went to the coffin. Alright, this, this bites. bites. Hope you enjoy your day off, Phantom. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yawn a little. I haven't slept in 24 hours. I'm surprised I'm running Ape so well for someone who hasn't uh, slept <laughs> since yesterday. No PB, but fun. Hiya! <laughs> Jake's the kind of guy who would be like 1v1 me IRL and then wouldn't show up. By the way, I'm kind of glad my run was trash that I get to show everyone the scene where Jake's head gets busted open on the concrete. <laughs> I absolutely love that cutscene. I wasn't gonna push my luck and also show Natalie eating shit when the cage- The cage Natalie in it, uh, is in falls and then she like gets thrown out the front and like smashes her teeth on the <laughs> When's a cat two bingo? Never again. That was a one time deal and boy did that suck.
burger for several days. Wait, is he not taking? Is this the guy that's not taking days off because he wants to look good to the bosses? Because you know that's just unhealthy, man. Oh, he works other jobs. Oh, that's that's all another problem. Then. Yo, the desync. So where his uh. Where his UFO is, is not where the uh, hitbox is, and this is really tough. It's where the shadow is. That's why he looks like he's teleporting. Sometimes the hitbox for the UFO can desync from the actual image of the UFO there. And you get all jank, you get jank like that. Yeah, he's the guy in the server with bad ping. You know who doesn't have bad? Well, you know who had bad ping yesterday, Sarge. Thanks for the jump, Sarge. Rip Sarge, Comcast man. Yeah, he's the guy in the server that's just teleporting around, but also he's like 13 and zero because no one can shoot him. Six hits on this guy. One, two, three, four, and I have two skill saves. So. Save me the walk. Okay. I did. Welcome. I had to shout out Scion. I raced. Scion's the reason I'm good at Ape Escape. Because of how much I raced him. If I was Spike, Scion is 100% my jig. Except I don't turn down the races. 12? It's probably an 8. I wasn't counting, but it's probably an 8. Ah, oh, it's probably not an 8 now. You're probably like an 11. I hope someone was counting. I have a day off. You know, it sounds... If the guy's working multiple jobs, Phantom, it sounds like he probably can't take a day off. Which is a really painful spot to be in in life. I hope one of you were counting. Devil's gonna say it was 12. <laughs> Called it. I like how uh, you, you Bean wants me to get a 28. The highest I've ever gotten on Spectre is a 27. Classic 27 Shades of Spectre. I'll never forget that. Dang, you planned it too. Are we at least getting sub 49? Yes. Nice. Should I work yourself to death? You ruined everything! You ruined if it everything! You, everything would be perfect! Yeah. I know, I know what that guy's going through, Spectre, Phantom. Put a stop to this it's now. not fun. I'm taking you back to the amusement park. <sighs> you must be joking. You're not taking Big me stretch. anywhere. I'll never go back. <sighs> I'm exhausted. I'm, going back to that I'm gonna do a couple more runs though, listen, but I'm, I'm definitely listen, feeling it. I will return. I'm gonna go do, get up, use I'll the bathroom real quick. I won't be too it. long. So you better be ready. Because and next, next time, time I won't fail. I won't fail. I'll be right back, guys. Wait. Spectre. Yes.
you did great. I always get back right where the credits start. I'll take you back to the amusement park. Alright, there we go. I'm back. I'm on camera. You know, UK, America, etc. are all falling to a pit of the average person. I'll be able to afford stuff more and more and it's only getting worse. Yeah, um... Yeah, Khan hit it right on the nail on the head. They're, uh... No, oh, thanks, though. Hope your food is good, man. Uh, what, 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 what you're seeing happening is that... Companies took major losses during COVID. And instead of just eating those, eat like eating that and losing profits, they are uh, making everyone in the world pay for the profits they lost because they don't want to. They don't want to downsize. They don't want to do whatever they need to lessen how much money they're making. So you see price gouging. You see everything. Uh, yes, yes, that will that. It's more like, um, they're not seeing the, the forest for the trees, I think is the term. They're, uh, they're not seeing the bigger picture. It's whenever people, it, it's this thing with, like, people who have a lot of money. They're only seeing, like, right in front of them. Their current, their immediate benefit, not their long term. That's gonna happen once all this, like, shit hits the fan pretty hard. problem like you also see them they're not um because they have such major investment in a lot of big companies have a lot of investment in real estate it's why you you don't see them going for like the uh work from home kind of idea because they've already spent so much money in the real estate for the offices that they don't want to default on that which is why they force people back to the office, things like that, which they're making money off that real estate. Interesting, Devil. I don't know if that has any, like, connection off the top of my head. I started seeing that stuff when NFTs happened before COVID, man. 
I always felt NFTs were the start of seeing a lot more of that stuff happen. I'm going for it. Because it was like the idea was put into people's head that, hey, I can get away with stealing from people. Gotcha. When NFTs were a thing. Gotcha. Yes. Try not to be. Uh, I try to be informed about these kinds of things, but I, I I try to stay away from the whole. It's funny, like everything is political nowadays, right? Even things that are like blatantly obvious that shouldn't be. <laughs> try not to get too much into it. I did hear about that stuff happening, Colin. And people have been making money off vulnerable people for years. They've always had scams to, uh, what's the word? Uh, to, they've always had scams, like, for old people for, like, the longest time. I don't think anyone's coming after you, devil. Devil found out about the aliens, they're real. I think it's a code, guys. It has no wind. Devil's a narc, guys. Watch out. He's just playing coy. Code if you need help. 
I don't. I don't think Devil knows the national anthem. He's from the UK. <laughs> The devil, give me your rendition of the national anthem. God save our something. Yo, I, I think they, they changed everything now to God save the king, right? Like, all the money says that now and everything. That's gotta be a weird change after it being like, God save the queen your whole life. <laughs> That's a bad joke, devil. I'm still gonna laugh. It was a long time, man. <laughs> He's just old. <laughs> I like the... <laughs> it's not a threat. He's just old. Yeah, Scott and Lard's gonna show up. You're gonna have a guy in the chat say, What's all this, dude? Best not to be anything silly going on in here. What was the joke from the, uh... <laughs> Bro, that's my king. Like, I'm gonna- I, I know for a fact that you're not- Devil, if you're from UK, you don't give a crap about the royalty. Don't lie to me. How could I? Yo, I'm just speaking the truth. I'm sorry to call you out like that, Devil. You can take the king in a fight, not <laughs> Yo, I could take grandpa in a fight if I really wanted to. <laughs> Square up, man. <laughs> Square up, old man. Actually, a lot of people in the U.S. just see royalty as the same thing they see as celebrities. Yeah, we missed them. It's alright. This is the backups no one knows about or cares about. <laughs> we can just catch them there, it's fine. We don't even need the hoop. I'm glad that didn't happen at GDQ, but... I do, I do know all the backups for that one specific monkey. <laughs> Flintlocks at the ready. What is this, the 1800s? Yeah, what's to ever stop someone from cheating and only taking nine paces? Like, and like, just like, taking like two half paces, right? What's to stop it? Like, who's, who's gonna, who's gonna tell him he did it wrong? The guy he shot? Personally, we should just bring back gladiatorial arenas, if you ask me. Whoa. Just no animals, please. Just no animals. I don't want to see people fighting lions. I feel bad for the lions. The other guy dead. <laughs> yeah, 
I don't. Yes. That... Game of Conquerors? What even is that? <laughs> You say that, and I can only think of the squirrel. <laughs> Conquer is? No. Don't I know I don't. That's not a word we use here. All out brawl for every last man standing wins. Let's go! I don't think you're going to have someone in charge of the country who, uh... You're gonna you're gonna have an idiocracy moment. I'm just telling you, who's with the guy being in charge? <laughs> gonna have President Mountain Duke uh, Chomacho, whatever his name was. Both the president and the WWE Let's champ. Go! Oh my God. Barack, he's back! With a steel chair! <laughs> like, that's what you're gonna have, like... <laughs> Fuck off! Dodge shoes so you can dodge <laughs> Have you ever seen the gif of the shoe dodge where it was like, it, it became the Fallout bat system? Of the guy, <laughs> it froze and it was just like, like 5% chance to hit. <laughs> and then he did the shoe toss. <laughs> I love that. Don't worry, Devil, I'm reading about this game since I'm actually interested. This sounds like, like a kid's game thing. Let's go! Alright. Let's not. <laughs> That's such a weird thing, man. I've never heard of that ever in my life. And for you, you're just like, what, you never heard of it? Everyone's played Conkers. I don't even know if we have, like, an equivalent to that. I don't think we do. Like, at all. Not too risky. I was awful at risk, man. Could not play it. Yeah, I've never heard of that devil. Concrete in them? <laughs> See, now you're reminding me of when I used to play Beyblades, man. Because you used to play Beyblades, you used the metal spinner because no one could beat it. Because of the big hunk of fucking steel. Well, it seems you tie a part of a tree to your shoelace and you use it to smash someone else's part of a tree. 
And the first one to fall off the shoelace loses. It's kind of like playing a game of slaps, I guess. No, that's not the point of the game, though. It's like it's like taking flails, right, and hitting hitting each other's flails with it. Smashed yours, you. Weird ass thing, man. What 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 happens in the UK? <laughs> All kids on the street out playing Conkers. Come over here are my jacks and my marbles. Those fans out here playing Conkers. <laughs> Hey, we had some pretty bad ones here. Don't don't get us started, yeah. Yo, drug PSAs from back in the day. I'll never forget Mario telling me that I'll go sh hell to hell before I die if I do drugs. And remember, kids, if you do drugs, you go straight to hell before you die. Thanks, Mario. Freaking Captain Lou. We also used to have PSAs to teach people not to clean their clothes with gasoline, right? Do you know about those PSAs? Because people used to actually clean their clothes using gasoline. Those are the classic ones. To the point where I think there's a Marvel comic with a villain. There's like a Marvel PSA. Conquer World Championships! Alright. Alright, send it to me, Devil. We'll watch it after. I want to see that. We'll watch it together. <laughs> I gotta see this. We'll watch it after the run. I'm very curious. Yes. Round of Crazy Bones? I got no clue what that is, Quiz. Yo, these are two old guys with flails. That's what it looks like. I love the man's fanny pack, by the way. He's got the bright neon green and the fanny pack. <laughs> we'll watch it after. What's crazy bone squiz? The worst we ever did in school was we just played like slaps, man, or we played freaking. Well, we played Pokemon cards, but I don't want to get into that. Some. Oh, we arm wrestled. Yu-Gi-Oh here. Yeah, we had Yu-Gi-Oh too. I can say we decided a lot with a children's card game, probably as much as the TV show did. I remember since um, since I hung out with nerds, and I am a nerd, we uh, we used to like play Yu-Gi-Oh for each other's souls, and we'd write like on like a piece of paper or because we were playing a shadow game, right? <laughs> Send your soul to the shadow zone. So we used to write on a piece of paper. Line them up and flick them at your opponent. Interesting. Let's go! How many souls do I own? Three. I have three souls to my name. Not including my own. Because I had a different dimension deck. At the time, different dimension was OP as shit. Because you could run three macrocosmos. And nobody liked going against me. Let's go! 
I've never, I've never even heard of Crazy Bones either. Quiz. It looks interesting. I went to him. I didn't get the full jump. I think the burn scared me. This bird's even scarier, but he's not gonna hit me. I'm actually gonna bonk off his head. Are you guys blind? I'm in your house. Oh, that's a weird kid on our table. Honey, what's going on? Well, I don't know. Why don't you scare him off? I mean, those are the two most sophisticated monkeys. They have a full house set up. Shall duel the art of conquerors. You know, devil, I would love to experience it once. Just to see if it's dumb or not. I messed up. That's right. We're still... Just gonna do this. We're gonna get that guy's... We're gonna get the backup over here. Can you get it once? I don't know, what would you like? On your off turns? Like, it's your opponent's turn, so now it's my turn to play Conquerors. <laughs> Dual disc? Nice. Thank you, devil. Let's go. That one's staying for a bit. Smash your fingers. Ooh. Well, at least your conquer is safe. You know, you won't be able to feel your fingers though. But kept that conquer safe. I'm not. I don't add quotes to Sarge's chat. You guys do. That's not my, I don't. Wow, I went past him? The guy. It's alright. We're still on pretty good pace. Quote you on the quote, Kami, unquote. <laughs> he, also, go. he also got you out. Oh, man. Rip you, man. I smash nuts. I'm going for it. I was just paying attention to sushi. Yes. <laughs> after drinking. Wouldn't be before. Has to be after. Boo boo boo. Yeah. 
The camera's gonna get stuck. Good, it didn't. I think it's because I didn't hit L1. Okay, smashing Conkers with the boys. Do you think Jay has played Conkers? I message Jay and ask him if he's a pro at smashing nuts. Dude. Rip my conk. Dark con, some people are into that stuff. <laughs> the drop kick murphies. Oh. 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 I missed that one, really? It was almost a good wobby if I didn't miss that. Yes. Even with a really mediocre gun room. I'm definitely feeling the uh, the tiredness. I might not be able to go that long today. The lack of sleep is definitely killing me. I'm going for it. This might be my last run for today, and then I'm probably gonna go pass out and we'll probably do a long stream tomorrow. Yeah, that's probably my plan. I'll do a longer stream tomorrow. Just because I haven't gotten any sleep. Uh, I don't work for the next two days, so. Again, like a good 13 hours today, make up for my missed sleep. We're all copacetic. Oh, yeah. We actually got in like two really good runs today. And the, no, we're gonna watch the Conkers. That's not getting missed. I'm watching that after that, after this run. I'm on pace to still PB, Devil. I'm not ending the run. Hey guys, we could have PB'd, but you know what? I gotta watch guys smash nuts. You know, you know how it'd be. To be honest, I mean, I agree. Devil, one weird UK pastime at a time. Cheese rolling? No, I've heard about the rolling of the cheese. Where they roll it down the hill, right? I've heard about that. See, that one's extremely weird, so of course that one's been spread, but yes. no one's heard of Conkers. Yeah, don't they roll it down a steep-ass hill, and then people have to chase it down, or they roll with it? I don't remember exactly what, what, the, what the other people involved in the rolling of the cheese do. I got some questions, though. Do they... What what kind of cheese do they roll down the hill? Do they use a specific type for like maximum uh, velocity? Is it like a big wheel of cheddar? Let's go! Need 
focusing on some specifics to the cheese rolling. Let me check. How'd you fuck up your face? Well, I was running down the hill chasing a roll of cheese. Oh, yeah. makes sense. Very British. What a nice guy. Not very often he's kind. City Park so far. Oh, double Glock, sure, okay. I was about to say that makes sense, but what would I know about rolling a block of cheese down a hill? <laughs> like, honestly, what? <laughs> you know, a double Glock, sure, it makes sense. Am I supposed to say Gloucester? Is that what you want me to say? Because that's... <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Man, what a good city park. Oh yeah. Glowsta? That's pronounced Glowsta? Uh, by the way, nine seconds to go. Some of the best, man. Nine seconds. That feels so good. How would you pronounce GLO in any way but Glow? Glo. <laughs> Glowsta. It's a Glowsta. So, glow, guh, low, glow. <laughs> Devil, I don't have an English accent, so it's gonna come out like I'm American. Well, gullo together is, so I'm supposed to say gullosta? Yeah. You said they're together. Where am I? You know? It's been a while since I've been down here. We are a little too high. Bad news, guys. I went completely the wrong way and fell out of bounds in a bad spot. No, yeah, it happens. There we go. Fell back in. Glosta? Glosta. Ah, oh, I missed last time. That's fine. Less of glow and more glower. Glousta? Just sending a video. <laughs> That's right, Ben Pigs. What happens? This guy's also kind of being a butt, so. That was like really bad on my part because I messed up the whole IJ chain to get in there. Yes. 
We are looking at how to pronounce the name of the city in the west of England. It may look like it should be pronounced Gloucester, but no, it is to be pronounced and usually pronounced in Britain as Gloucester. Gloucester. Let's go! But that's how it's said. Alright, I'm glad this man agrees with me, that makes no sense. Gloucester. It's finished. Oh, that's cool. Got a couple of fins that play uh, escape, escape toe and silent. Oh, worse this year. Sorry, I'm pronouncing it like the sauce. Worse this year. <laughs> I don't care how it's spelled. Yeah, it's kind of cool, Dean. You say Worcestershire? <laughs> Sheer, I ain't a sheep. I hate you, devil. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Fuck, man. This has been Tommy mispronounced his words for during an Ape Escape run. <laughs> How it said. You've done this to Sarge. I remember him complaining about it. Biggity boss bumble. Bump to the bump to the bump to the base. Speaking of Sarge, no Sarge, we haven't gotten to the part where I thank you for a jump. How you doing, bud? How's Comcast treating you today? No, come on, stay. Have a good time. Don't leave so easily. Coming in right on my last run of the day because I have slept since GDQ yesterday and I'm exhausted. I'm as ready as I can be, Dill. What, uh, what Lovecraftian dialect is that? Actually, that looks elvish. No thanks. Three UFOs again. Great. Love it. No, elvish, not Welsh. <laughs> oh, that's finish right there. I know that one. I thought Sion yelled at me and finished before. Can you not? Can you not do this? I hate this boss. I 
hate this boss. Oh my god. again a whole minute <laughs> yes almost but pretty close Ugh. Yeah, I'm tired still a pretty good run besides from the factory shenanigans yo sushi what's up bud Coming in right at the end of my day, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm so tired. Let's go! Just in time, yeah, no. Having not slept since my run last night, I am I've been up for 24 hours, and I need to go lay down. <laughs> Welcome to my, my circus. circus. Well, my run was at mid, was at 11 o'clock at night, and I worked at. I had to get up for work at 4 a.m., so I just didn't sleep because if I fell asleep, I would have missed work. And then from work, I just worked, came home, streamed. Now I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm a little tired. A little cold out of work now. Hot pennies. No, I have not. Nah. nah I worked today. It's fine. I'm just gonna, like, pass out after this run and then... That's gonna be it. Two pretty good runs today, like really hot runs, which is nice. Uh, we're gonna do a lot longer of a stream tomorrow for sure. Since I'll actually be well rested. <laughs> How was my GDQ run? Everyone's telling me it was good. So, you know, I think it went well. I was a bundle of nerves the whole time. Like, I was like, my hands were a little shaky. We did come, we did have, we were uh, overestimated by 14 seconds. So we had like a 50-14, which I'm pretty happy for. That was pretty good. It's exactly where I wanted to be. Yeah, it was like a 1,800, 1,600, that like fluctuating range. Oh, full health, by the way, we're jumping six gates. The Mogan incident. <laughs> I, uh, I messed up a lot of stuff in the run that kind of, speaking mermaid facts, did not, uh, I messed up a lot of things in the run that were definitely something that I'm kind of annoyed I messed up, but it wasn't, you know, it's not super apparent to the people watching that I'm messing up because it's, Talk about mermaids? I'm I'm good. I don't really have any conversations to have about mermaids. I could talk about like the origin of mermaids and how they used to eat people. I don't think they want me to talk about that on GDQ. It gets very graphic. Mermaids are not friendly. Don't let don't let Disney fool you. Gotcha. 
Talking about clowns, I did, I did mention, I did mention the fact that the clown's name was Tubby. But on a riot, because you mentioned a monkey mermaid. Let's go. So the clown did get a spotlight, Jill. Don't worry. I'm gonna be honest. So the whole run, everything I said was just the first thing that came to my mind. Oh yeah, that's that's what you want, Bean, for the coffins. That was the perfect. That was the RNG I wanted, where the left monkey didn't jump down until after I caught the other two. That's like the nicest way to have to do it. Uh, Cause I was like an absolute mess the whole time. <laughs> But everyone said it went well. Uh, I talked the whole time. There wasn't any dead air. So that's good. Uh, Tippy is an absolutely amazing host. So, she was absolutely great to have. And, uh, they kind of... Tippy suggested I submit Ape Escape to AGDQ, so I'm probably going to do that. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, that'd be cool. Hopefully Ape gets accepted. It'll be interesting. Apparently they're doing a mix of in-person and online, so I can just submit it online, because uh, traveling for me would actually probably be impossible right now in my current situation. Plus, unless like someone like Sarge or someone gets like a, a run-in as well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really be getting a hotel room for myself. That so sounds like it went well. They They apparently liked me, so you know, that's a good thing, and... Everyone I interacted with for the whole thing was really nice, polite, they were very professional and wonderful people, so... Um, it was definitely a positive experience. Half the hotel. <laughs> I'm sure, devil. And honestly, I'm glad I did it, because I definitely was happy to be out of my comfort zone instead of just, you know, running ape on my own corner of the internet. It's nice to put it out there for people to see, even if I may not have put together the most stellar run. You know who always puts out a stellar run? Sarge. Thanks for this jump surge. Oh, uh, you give them an estimate and you come in at that estimate. Done. That, that's all pancakes. That's all you gotta do. They don't, yeah, it's, it depends who's, like, if you're asking how good of a speed run, like, if you're, if you're already accepted, you don't have to be, like, you don't have to be a god at the run, right? If you're already accepted, you just beat the, the time you gave them, that's all. If you're trying to get accepted to, like, a run, it's very... You know, I don't know your I don't know if your time matter I wouldn't know what would what are the criteria they're looking for to actually accept your run to a marathon. That's not something I can answer. Confidence does help though. Let's hope it's my day. I don't want twenty eight. 
I I don't I haven't counted this one because I'm kind of like dead. <laughs> As you can tell by my inability even to hit them. You're only saying that because I'm not counting, devil. Yeah, it's really up to their discretion who or why or what they take. And that's not something anyone else can really answer. It's more than 12, by the way, because I'm losing time. This is more like 15 at this point, I'm pretty sure. Devil, don't worry, they'll, uh... They'll band SAR uh, alternate uh, terror force. This run's not even sub 50. We get all gobbly gooked in the, the factory. That's fine. We had two good runs today, though. We had a four. We had two 48s, which were pretty nice. All right. Yeah, that's sure not getting in though, Panpigs. Oh, thanks, Sushi. Thanks, Panpigs. Bean and Jay. Spectre, put a stop to this now. Uh, put a stop to I'm this now. To the amusement park. Okay, you Jay. Jay, do you know what you Conkers is? I'll never go back. Well, no, I'm not going yet. We got a six-minute video. Devil wants me to watch called the. It's a video about guys smashing you, nuts. And. We're gonna, uh, the second one. Next time, I'm, I'm just waiting fail. for Spectre to tell him he's not gonna fail. Wait, Spectre? Of course, I have no clue what it is. Devil sent me this video to watch, so we're gonna watch it together. Yes. Let me pull this up. This is the... World Conquer Championship. Apparently. You did great. Is this it? Is this one four? Oh yeah, there we go. Perfect. Cool. Let me just change the size real quick. It's the World Conquer Championship. I'm gonna make this as hideous as I can. The screen, damn it. Thank you, that's good enough. Ah, uh, let's mute Ape Escape. Uh, we're gonna watch this together. I don't know what I'm in for. I've never watched guys smashing nuts before, so. I thought of the squirrel, too, to be honest. Yeah, they sound British. Alright, we got some chestnuts. Concentration, What is this? What is this, a Renaissance fair? They had the little spears? Oh, that's what you do. Oh, see, I imagined something completely different than when I saw this. Yo, he got two in on that guy? He just let that happen? This guy? This, uh, you can't see my mouse. The guy in white? Absolutely dreadful. I'd love to say there was quite a lot of luck involved, but actually we've got people who've won it three and four times, so there must be an element of skill involved. 
Keep telling yourself that, so man. It can't just be luck. But the conkers that you draw, um, you, you are allowed to reject them, but they've got to have something to do with it. What, whatever you got to say to let you sleep at night. Do with it. <laughs> no RNG involved here. It's all skill. And she's about to start playing. Yo, now, now this lady, this lady is probably amazing. Yo, smash that man's nuts. Man, I can't believe she just lost just like that. Oh, come on, put some more force into that, man. Harder! Smash his nuts! Do it! I respect the dog suit. I like that. What is this first? This is a championship! Is this the first time playing for this woman? I thought this was a championship! I thought there would only be pro conquer players here. Jay, you can't say that when you got this old guy here who's probably been playing Conquerors for 50 years, maybe 60 years. You know, being generous here. This man's obviously a pro. Look how good he is at hitting that nut. It's perfect. Perfect aim. You know, old age, he lost his power, but that man didn't miss a single nut. Oh. oh, look at that. Now she can smash nuts. She's good. Man had a pretty hard nut, though, you know. Sometimes, you know, it's, it's not RNG after all. That man knew how to pick his nut. That's probably the first thing they teach you, exactly which nuts are good. Why are you videotaping a guy using his phone to videotape? <laughs> <Can> we... <laughs> We're here to watch nuts get smashed. Now, I can only make this joke enough times. I mean, I get it at this point. We're gonna finish the video for Devil's Sake though, but I get it at this point. I've never seen this before though. You can finish? I already have. Whoa, you should crack that guy's nut. That's the money. Oh, dog is winning. Let's go, dog. Yo, yo, this is someone who gets it. Look at that. <laughs> That's someone who gets it. Oh, they can't play for shit, though. They're all style. No substance. Kind of feel bad. See, they kind of had the, uh, what's his name? The, what was his name with the big mustache? Last three for Emma. No, not him. I was thinking of Burt Reynolds. She had the Burt Reynolds stash going on. <laughs> I did see that pan picks. I did. I mean, he's only been doing it since Mario 64. Are you guys, which one is the reigning champion that won? I wasn't, we have to go back. I didn't see the, I didn't see the winning, the winning nut attack. Oh, did she lose because she didn't break the nut? I'm guessing she lost because she didn't break the nut. Yeah, hot guess. It was it was the lack of nut breaking. Oh, we had oh, so we had separated the men's and women's division. Okay. 
These are the, these are the real nutbusters right here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen Animal play COD. Oh, that guy knows how to hit a nut. These guys mean Yo, he is he is lining up his shots. You see that? Look look at this. Look at this. He, he gets he he has the lineup. He's like he's like a pro right here. <laughs> oh waka waka! I'm calling in an airstrike. Oh, his nut busts right off the line. We're watching guys smash nuts. Guys and gals smash nuts. And a lot of old British people clapping for it. Okay, real talk. Real talk. Why is her trophy smaller than his trophy? What are you doing, Britain? Alright, that was Conker's. I hope you guys enjoyed Conker's. Spike fell asleep watching it. I would have done the same. If <laughs> you guys weren't here. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. I just had to point it out. It was a, it's just a note. Alright, we're gonna go. Uh, you know who we're gonna raid, though? You know who's playing an ape game right now, and we're gonna go raid? He's never gonna see it coming. Uh, let me spell his name correctly, because I'm so bad at this, I swear to god. Perfect. Alright, let's go raid our boy Scion, because I'm going to sleep. Y'all have fun with Scion, he's playing on the loose for the first time. Uh, go cheer him on, tell him Ape 1's a better game, he'll agree. <laughs> you guys have a good time. Uh, we'll be back doing more Ape Escape tomorrow. Uh, 11 o'clock Eastern for like a couple hours uh, so, but you guys have a good night and thanks for hanging out today. I'm gonna go actually sleep. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get that sleep. I need it, I am out of it. Look at cool guys spike before you go. Look at those glasses, hot shit. All right.